Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. I uh, finished all of my appointments yesterday, tried to get as much done as I possibly could in one day so that it didn't uh, conflict with our streaming schedule. But we are now live on both Facebook and YouTube, and I hope you're ready for more Starfield. Now, uh, last Monday, we began the Crimson Fleet questline, and we've, uh, we got pretty far into it, but we've got a lot left to do. However, I want to take a quick break from the Crimson Fleet because I need to capture some pickup footage for the lore video that I'm working on for the weekend, which is on the failure to communicate questline. So what we need to do is go to the RNI system, and what I'm wanting to see is if anything has changed after we completed the failure to communi uh, communicate quest. If you'll recall, that quest involved responding to a distress call from a colony that um, was working with List. What I'm wanting to look for is I want to see if I can find the other two settlements, the um, uh, Bow, I think, and then Jasmine, their settlements on the other planets in the RNI system, and uh, if there's any update as to how that quest unfolds. That shouldn't take more than 10, 20 minutes or so, and then we'll dive right back in to the Crimson Fleet quest line and continue with that for the rest of the day. That's the plan for today. Good to see everybody on Facebook today. Toby Noble, Danny, Steven, so good to see you. And it's, of course, great to see all of the regulars and the members and the Patreon supporters on YouTube today. Ms. Cordelia Chesterfield, Julian Z, The Dark, Clarine, Pyro, Sebastian Sanchez, Tony J, Random Fandom, John Washburn. Uh, so good to see each and every one of you. Well, how has your week been, everybody? I know we're about halfway through. Today is Wednesday, hump day, as they say. Oh, it's been a strange phrase for a week, uh, weekday. <clears throat> but uh, we are almost over the hump of the week. Hopefully you guys have some fun plans for the weekend. My weekend is going to consist of just chores because I spend all week working on lore videos and live streams. The things pile up, so it's uh, Time to, to chip away at all of the daily household things that I've got to deal with during the week. That's my weekend planned and sorted. But I got one of those new jacuzzi things. You know those inflatable hot tubs that you can get on Amazon? Well, my family has been pestering me because now it's cold. And you, they can't use the little uh, prop pool that I bought. I think I talked about this uh, a couple years ago. I put up a prop pool. And it's been nothing but a nightmare trying to keep the chlorine levels correct and uh, to keep algae from growing in it and keeping it clean and keeping the kids from popping holes in it so that it drains water and all of that. But now that it's cold, they don't want to swim in the cold, cold water, Well, I, which I understand, right? So they wanted me to get a little hot tub. So I got one of those really cheap <laughs> inflatable uh, Amazon hot tubs. And it's surprisingly sturdy. I, it's way sturdier than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be this rickety inflatable thing that you get. But it ended up being pretty sturdy, and I've just been trying to get the water temperature up. It takes forever to heat it. And then, of course, I've got to mix chlorine to make sure that it's safe for everybody. And I've got those little test strips, and I'm checking the pH and the hardiness. And it's just a nightmare trying to deal with all of these different water systems. So, yeah, I've got that to work on this weekend make sure that everything is clean and all of the little chemicals are correct so that the kids can actually swim in a in a clean pristine environment and all of that but I spent so much money on swim lessons for the kids that I want them to make sure I want to make sure that they've got uh, plenty of swim opportunities you know so they don't you know, get out of practice and I know you don't really swim in a hot tub you just soak but the way the kids will do it is they'll get in the hot tub to get nice and warm and then they'll jump back into the little prop up swimming pool that I've got and they'll swim and then they'll jump back into the hot tub to get warm so it's in and out in and out in and out and then as the adult I just stand there and look them dragging dirt in and then transferring it to the other one because of course I got to clean all that up afterwards but that's childhood for you, and I want them to want to make sure that they can swim as much as they want. Rachel in the chat with the first super chat of the day says, you should start picking up 
interesting junk to decorate homes and outposts so you have them later. Like Fallout, drop then place. Basically, like your office. <laughs> yeah, I've been seeing a bunch of interesting junk as we've been exploring the game that I'm really looking forward to, to using to decorate with. But, um, I, you know, it'll be interesting to see what it's like when I actually get to call any building. If it's anything like shipbuilding, where if you make one change, they remove everything and deposit it into your cargo hold, then I'm not even going to see what the point is. At first, I was really excited about decorating your ship, but if everything you do gets destroyed the moment you upgrade your ship in any way, even if it's just putting one little laser on it, then I'm not even going to bother with that. And I have a feeling it's probably going to be the same for colonies. Again, I don't know, because I haven't done it yet, but... Um, it, what if I add one hab to it, or I add a hallway or something? Is, does that mean everything that I've worked and labored to decorate and put together is just going to be put into the cargo hold? I guess we'll see when it comes down to it. I'm really amped up. I'm eager to get into the settlement system, the colony building system. Um, I want to make sure that I find the appropriate uh, planets for it. And uh, I'm really looking forward to that. So I'm thinking after we complete the Crimson Quest class line, uh, the Crimson Fleet <laughs> quest line, I want to do the Ryush the Ryukshin, uh, what's that called? The Neon uh, Faction quest line, and uh, then more side quests, and then get into some colony building. That's the plan. Wasteland Wanderer says, Hello, Ox, hope you're well. Thank you so much, Wasteland Wanderer. I am doing very well. Uh, Keith Michael says, Swedish hot cold, it's good for you. Yeah, uh, jumping into the cold pool, then jumping into the hot tub, then jumping. Uh, I, I, I've heard the same thing. I don't know if I buy it. It's like one of those weird anecdotal things you hear online that it's really good for your, for your system. If you just shock your system with cold and then get warm and then shock your system with more cold. Uh, maybe. I'd have to look into the research behind that. I don't know if I buy it. It just sounds like one of those things that they say, it's uncomfortable, so therefore it must be good for you. <laughs> like the polar bear swims we used to do as kids. When I was in the Scouts, we were all about that. We would go camping, and I don't know why, but when I was a kid, all they ever wanted to do was go camping and fall. Yeah, you would have the summer camps, but they wanted you to go camping and fall, so we would go hiking for hours out into the woods and the mountains of the Pacific Northwest, and then the camp counselors would have us pitch tent, and there would be this really big pond that was ice cold and we'd all wake up at five in the morning bunch of teenagers and we do a polar bear swim and apparently that was good for us or something the camp counselors are like yeah it's gonna improve your hardiness and you're all gonna you know it's gonna it's gonna make you more resistant to the elements i'm sitting there in my sleeping bag in my tent warm at five in the morning i'm like man i was doing marshmallows till like 10 at night i'm tired i want to stay in bed but i was like no polar bear swim gotta go jump in the pool in the cold freezing Lake, it's good for you. Uh, I don't know if I buy it. We'll see. Cat Five says, "Oh, it's all about opening and closing the pores, Ox. I mean, yeah, it's, it's they're not like fish mouths. You know, it's not, what's good about opening and closing a pore? I mean, the pores are there. I don't need them any wider than they're supposed to be. I don't want big old wide open pores getting clogged with whatever it's called, dead skin cells. No, I want I want small pores." Keep my pores small and tiny. Sweating is for chumps. I don't need all that sweating. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. All right, let's, aside from that, let's dive back into the game. Let's see where we were. Continue. Actually, make sure we're loading something that wasn't. Yeah, this is the hard save I did just before the exit save. We'll load the hard save. Okay, we had just landed here. That's right, because I had planned on on immediately um, tackling this, this part of the quest, but I really want to go to the RNI system because I'm trying to capture footage for my lore video. So I'm sure the Crimson no Fleet... No borders, just oh, horizons. That's my idea. Of 
I'm sure the Crimson Fleet will wait for us. Stay in orbit or jump. Yup. Okay, let's go to the star map. We are at Crix. And I don't remember where Armai was. So we're just gonna look around for a little bit. We know it's gonna be white. Because we visited it not long ago. If I can't find it, then we'll just continue with what we're doing. Altair, Wolf, Barnard, Star, still haven't done that yet. Procyon, Loitons. We haven't gone this far west, have we? Sakharov. I know the chat really wanted me to go there. There's something interesting at Sakharov. But I want to finish the Crimson Fleet before we do that. I'm not going to be able to find it, am I? Yeah, look at all these stars off to the west that I haven't been to yet. I'm not gonna be able to find it, am I? It's Alpha Tirna? Look at all these stars. I wish I could type something in and do a search. That's one thing about this game that I think they could have done better is um, organizing uh, everything that you've found and uh, especially the lore and the planets. There are so many planets out there. Once you visit a planet, it should get you know deposited into like a ledger that you keep so that you can filter by habitable planets uh, you can uh, go through a list of all of the planets that you found and then choose the appropriate one based on what you need. All right, I'm not going to spend the entire broadcast doing this. If I can't find it, God. It was the RMI, RMI system. And it's going to be white because we've been there. It's not going to be red. Alpha Turna... Delta, Sakharov. Oh my god, why is this so difficult? Can't believe this is the only way to find a system. Well, that's a tiny one. Hey, Ox, any contraband you need to get rid of? I don't remember. I don't think so, but we're working with the Crimson Fleet right now, so we'll probably be picking up more contraband anyway. Right, well. Don't think I can find it. I'm not going to spend much more time looking for it. Okay. That's really frustrating. Oh, well, I'll have to find it offline and shoot that footage when you guys aren't here because I can't spend this entire time looking. Oh, there it is! Oh, my God. I just found it. Finally. No, not Olympus. No. There it is, the Arnai system. Holy cow, that was difficult. Rachel says, not sure on outposts, but don't think apartments are like that. I've seen some builds for the new Atlantis apartment filled with junk, antique computers, fish bowls, plushies, food items for the kitchen too. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. I'd love to spend some time working on my apartment. Ms. Cordelia Chesterfield, Chesterfield says, almost directly to the right of Alpha Centauri. Thank you, Cordelia, I did finally find it. 
Uh, there's a lot of planets in this particular system, and the goal of what I'm trying to do now is I want to find the two other settlements that are owned by the two other members of List who helped us out in that quest, and of course I want to go back to, um... Wait, is this right? No, I'm in Olympus again. I don't want Olympus, I want Ar Arani. No, not Olympus. No, no, oh, there we go, Arani, there we go. Arani 1, Arani 3. So our friend is on Arani 2. That's Arani 5. One. There's three. Where's two? There it is. There's Arani 2. So let's go back here and see how he's doing. Big says, next time you can, go to your completed quests, find the quest, and then have it... Oh, man. Starborn ships. Check it out. Three starborn ships. I destroyed them with my little with my little free star ship here. Loved it. <laughs> okay. Uh R on I2. Let's open the planet map. Let's find our friend. Uh Industrial Post? Spaceship debris. No 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 no. We were looking for the farm. Landing area explored? Industrial post? What happened to his farm? It was called, it was for the quest. Well, this has been explored. Let's go here. I've been here before. Suit seals look good. Out we go. Industrial post. One of these was his farm. Structure, ship landing site that's... Ship landing site, is that it? Oh no, that's that other um, start, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I remember we explored this earlier and we didn't see anything there. Okay, let's go to industrial post. No, that's a location we haven't seen before. Structure? Structure. Well, which one is the farm that we did for the quest? Okay, we did, uh... Let's go to completed quests. Wow, where was it? It's not over designed, it was um Where where was it? Let's try 
miscellaneous quests. Missions? No, activity. Completed. It was after tourists go home. Is it not showing up here? Maybe it was a completed activity. Oh, God. They're just making this very difficult. Halfway Nuts says a cool DLC idea would be decoy flares for starships. How cool would it be to fire a missile at another ship just to watch them put out flares? It would definitely make space combat more interesting. That's a great idea, Halfway Nuts. Cody Reagan says, how's it going? I'm watching at work. Thank you, Cody Rogan. It's going great. I'm having a... I'm having a great time. I'm just having a difficult time trying to do what I want to do right now. Okay, I remember that it was within sight of of this landing spot. I remember we saw that and we landed there. It's it's going to be over there or over there. I'm guessing over there. Well, let's try it. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Oh. Need a moment to walk that off. Let's head over here, see if it's them. If it's not, then we'll get back to the ship and go back into orbit. Heal, 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 says chat. Yeah, I need to heal. I'm surprised that Lopez's farm is no longer a marked location on this planet. Uh, that's where we went to, to, to work on this quest. It was called Lopez's Farm, and it was one of these locations, but it's no longer discoverable as a marked location on the map. That's really interesting. Michelle says, I think it's the, mis the mission you're looking for. It's called Failure to Communicate. I'm not sure if that's the one you're looking for. It is the one I'm looking for. But I just went through my quest log. I couldn't find it. Cody Reagan says, have you tried No Man's Sky? It's similar to Starfield. Oh, yes, I tried No Man's Sky the day it came out. I understand it's gone through quite some revisions since then. But I do remember, um, I remember it when it first came out. All right, so I don't know. This is not looking familiar. It was called Lopez's Farm. Wait, maybe this is it? No, there were two halves. Connected. Oh, this is a new location, the construction site. Bomber. Free credits. Hey.
Okay, well I think uh, we're not gonna do we're not gonna get anywhere on the surface. Our best bet is to go into orbit and see if we can find any of the other settlements. It's possible that he moved. Like maybe he switched. Maybe based on the choices that we made, he took over one of the other settlements. <laughs> maybe Lopez took over uh Jacqueline's settlement. Julian Z says, hi, so good to see you on this Starfield Wednesday. From what I'm reading, hot and cold is supposed to be like a rinse of your body with blood in hot water. Vessels open up, blood goes in, cold vessels constrict blood out. I see, so you're saying that the hot and cold helps with circulation. Yeah, maybe, maybe you're right. I, don't know. I mean, people have been doing it for centuries, generations hot and cold treatments, so maybe there's something to it. Still, I don't know if I buy it. Well, I mean, this is somebody's hab, but there's no one here. a satisfying moment to return to your ship. All right, let's scan the other planets in this system. Where are we off to this time, Captain? Just to see if we can find any evidence of these members of list. Achieving orbit now. All right, so that's RNI2, and he's not there. So, that's really strange. Let's go to this moon. Scan unavailable. RNI-2A. Set the course. Halfway Nut says, My Lopez marker is still there. Finish the quest. Yeah, I finished the quest too, and it's not there. So, I mean, you're seeing exactly what I'm seeing here. There's RNI-2A, and it's an extreme environment. We've got a pipeline terminus location, and then resources, and that's it. So let's try RNI-2B. We destroyed the Crimson Fleet. Hopefully that's not going to bite us in the ass when we go back to Delgado. But I don't think we did it in time to help the Free Star. Crap. All right, anyway, where's the moon? There it is. Let's scan it.
Helium-3 and aluminum. No settlements or anything. It's an extreme environment. Okay, so that's everything on RNI-2. Let's go to RNI-1. Spacers still? We tagged their grab drive. Well, I don't think I have room for space parts, or spare parts, but I'll ask. Transferring parts now. Thanks again for the help. You see out. So it's interesting because the lore of the failure to communicate quest was that the UC and the Freestar never come out this way. But we just saw the Freestar and the UC around these planets. And the lore of the quest was that we destroyed the spacers in this area, but we just found spacers here. So, kind of weird there. All right, so far, all of the planets in this system are very similar and almost equally barren. They're all extreme environments, very few resources, which is weird. And I'm doing the lore video on this quest, and the entire plot is that List sent them here to colonize, but so far, every single planet is completely inhospitable to life. Beryllium, aluminum, helium, a barren planet, deep freeze, and it's the same for all of the planets in this system, I think. Let's go to RNI-3. Again, barren planet, helium-3 and iron, spaceship debris, that's a randomly generated location, nothing. So, in the failure to communicate questline, there were three different um, colonies that had colonized the planets in this system, and we're not finding any evidence of them anywhere. Not even on the planet where we originally found them. All right, so that's Aaron I-4, let's go there. Let's first go to the moons. Let's go in order. Uh, there's Aaron I 4A. Aaron says that I'm in the wrong system. Am I? I'm not in the wrong system. I just checked it with the footage that I captured earlier, and I'm not in the wrong system. Okay, so we've got helium-3, iron, and uh, tantalum. And it's a completely uninhabited moon. There's nothing there. Let's go to RNI 4B. Chad is saying it's Piazzi.
It's not. I mean, maybe it was in your game. I just checked my footage. I've got it loaded into my editing software because I'm working on that lore video. And the Lopez, I'm looking on the map right now. The Lopez farm is on the surface of RNI 2. RNI 2. The planet we just got back from. And it's not there. Like, I'm, guys, I'm not wrong. I'm in the right system. This is the same game save. Scan the planet. We've got a crash site. We've got an abandoned weapon system. Completely barren planet. Deep freeze. Helium, iron, and alkalines. No evidence of any other settlements. Halfway Nuts says the Lopez mission location is randomly generated by playthrough. That makes sense. That makes sense because on, in your games, it's Piazzi. In my game, it's RNI. <clears throat> But that still doesn't explain why I'm not finding it again. All right, we just tried B. Let's try C. I mean, even if the location is randomly generated, once I find it, it should still be here. Random Fandom says maybe he moved. Yeah, that would make sense. Um, that he did move, if we're not finding it here. But the problem is that, according to the quest, this entire system was given to him by list. One of the the problem points of the quest is he had he was defrauding one of the other members because he felt like he should own the entire system, and then they move in and take up some some of the other planets, and so he felt like he needed to defraud them, which is what he did. All right, here's C. We've got we've got water and copper. An ice planet, no points of interest, no markers. Pardon me, no markers. So that's A, B, and C. Let's do D. My dear darling in New Atlantis As I wander the blackness of the deep abyss My ship is in tatters, all dented and worn But I trust my old engine to get back by morn Way oh, out in the blackness Way oh, out in the void Way oh, give me back to my true love Quick as an old asteroid. Hey, who are you? Always happy to meet a stranger. Hope my singing was to your liking. The Valentine. We could say, is that a sea shanty you were singing? It is, at that. If you believe the family tales, we've been merchant men and freighter captains since the days of the East India Company. If you like my singing, you should have heard my pops. Now he had a voice. We could say, modern music is more my thing, sorry. Anything to pass the time, or your song really made my day. Ah, oh, and now you've made mine. I'm afraid my ship's got the next jump plotted in, so I'm away. Safe travels. Safe travels, the Valentine. And away he goes. Wow, what a cool random encounter. That was great. <laughs> I loved it. Okay, uh, here we are on D. Let's scan the planet. I'm just doing my due diligence for the lore video, everybody. I know it's probably a, flut a fruitless endeavor, um, but I want to be able to make sure that if I say that the ramifications for our choices in the quest are ultimately meaningless, I want to make sure that it's true. And so far, it's looking that way. All right, there's nothing here. All right, so that's everything on four. I mean, it's a gas giant, so we can't land there. Let's go to five. We did everything else. There's two, there's one, there's three, there's four, there's five. That's the last one. And neither of these had any moons, is that right? Yeah, I'm not seeing any moons. Let's try five.
Stars Fires says, Oxhorn, you're in the wrong system. Again, I'm not. I checked. I double checked. I triple checked. I am in the right system for my game save. Apparently, this particular quest, the failure to communicate quest, can be randomly generated in different systems depending on the game. In your game, it might have been a different system. In my game, I'm in the right system, the R9 system. And this is where I should be. You can go back and rewatch my, my stream when I got the quest. I'm in the right place. And here we go. An ice planet. Nothing there. So we actually, we can't actually find their settlements. That's a real bummer. I was hoping that we could. Wrecker Lawson, or Blake Hardy with a super tip. Thank you so much, Blake Hardy. Wrecker Lawson says, that's what I meant by keeping your ears out for music. You just met my favorite encounters. You could meet him a few more times and you'll have different songs too. Well, that's great. I can't wait to, wait to meet the Valentine. He's a lot of fun. Blake Hardy says, dang, I'm more used to Twitch. I have always loved that part in the game. Just hearing him sing out of nowhere is always the best. That's great. It was a wonderful little random encounter. Can't wait to find him again. Jeffrey Jones says, can you load your last save from the quest? The save should have the system name on it. It, Yeah, but I'm looking at my footage. Like, I know that I'm on the right quest. I'm currently editing the footage. I know that I'm in the right system. I'm ed editing the footage in my game. I, I, I'm not wrong, guys. I am not wrong, okay? But that's it for the entire system. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Completed quests. We're looking for failure to communicate. Failure to communicate. Talk with Albin Lopez. I can't show it on map. I can't I can't show it on the map, guys. <laughs> I can't show it on the map. Like we completed the quest. And there it is. What does it say? R92. R93. RNI4D. We were all over this system during the quest. And I'm not wrong. It's there in black and white, guys. Just <laughs> I'm not wrong. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go back to R Knight 2 really quick just to make sure I didn't overlook it or something. Berkzine, Berkzine says he's on Piazzi 2. Not in my game, he's not. Quilex Custom says, I show Lopez farm on Nicola 2. Maybe in your game, but not in my game. I don't, this is, I don't understand how often I have to say this. So look, this is where he was. You see how I've got a landing area and you see that it's explored? That's because I landed here when I was doing the Lopez quest to go to Lopez's farm. But we were just there and he's gone. His entire settlement is gone. We were just there and nothing's there. But we have this landing area still on the planet because that's where we were during this quest to find him. So we've, we've scanned the planet and there's nothing else left. There's an industrial post unrelated to the quest and then a few other random locations, but he's gone, all right? And we already explored the moons. So um, I've done what I set out to do. I wanted to come back to the system to see if I could find any evidence of the of Lopez after the quest, any evidence of the other two colonists from the quest. Because at the end of the quest, he says, you've made a friend for life, come back at any time. And I wanted to be able to say, we can't come back, right? And so that's what I've just done. Now you guys can go try it in your own games, load the quest or load your games, find where Lopez was in your game save, go back after completing the quest to see if you can find and talk to him again. But I've tried to, I've, I've demonstrated, I've demonstrated that that's impossible. And that's all I wanted to be able to say at the end of my video, okay? So we're, we're done with this. I'm gonna go back to the Crimson Fleet. Jeffrey Jones says, I'm not suggesting you're in the wrong system. I'm just wondering if the old save has the location marked as active. Well, I'm, pr I'm sure if I were to load a previous save before I completed the quest, um, I would be able to, you know, track the quest and find the location and all of that. But there's no need to do that because we just saw in the quest log that it was on this system and it was on RNI2 and we can no longer find it. So I've got the information that I came for. Now let's go back to the Crimson Fleet quest. We'll go back to Crix and let's see if I'm gonna get any trouble for destroying the Crimson Fleet. And if we are, I'm gonna have to load a different save. Let's go to Suvorov. 
And let's land at the lock. Delgado. Such beauty in the midst of nothingness. I destroyed some Crimson Fleet just a moment ago. You're not gonna hold that against me, are you? Let's do a quick save here. Tony J says choppy footage. Yeah, sorry about that. I, I have my editing software up on my other screen that I loaded in order to verify that it was RNI2, and I just minimized that so it's no longer hogging my system resources. You should have clean, clear, pristine footage. Let me know if that's no longer the case. About time you got here. I told you you were wasting your time, Del. You're gonna take Mathis' side over mine? I'm not taking anyone's side at anything. All I am doing is watching the both of you, and waiting for one of you to do something stupid so I can put you on the ground. We could say, and here I thought you liked surprises, or cut the crap and let's get down to business, or I always keep my word. Let's try that. Yeah? We will see. And Mathis, I am running things around here, so keep your mouth shut. You got that? Fine. All right, listen up, because I am only going to go through this once. We are here to dig up any info about Grix's legacy. We are not here to scrap for loot. Whatever you pick up, don't think, don't get creative, bring it straight to me. Right, I'm getting some audio sync issues, so I'm exiting out of my other software really quick, uh, re really quickly. Why search the lock for information on Crix's legacy? Before he touched off the riots, Crix spent time behind bars at the lock. If he cooked up any sort of a plan about his legacy, the trail has to start here. What exactly do you expect us to find? Oh, I don't know. I was really hoping for a huge sign on the wall saying, Crix's legacy clues here. Do I have to spell everything out? Look for data slates, notes, terminal entries? If you wrote a poem on a piece of toilet paper, I want it. <clears throat> we could say, don't worry, Mathis isn't capable of thinking, or this is a waste of time, or sounds simple enough. <laughs> so simple, even a rook like you can't screw it up. Hold on, no scrapping? How the hell am I supposed to make money around here? All right, that's enough. If either of you want to fly with the Crimson Fleet, then you need to follow one simple rule. When you're on a job, you do exactly what I say, no questions asked. If that doesn't work for you, just say so, and I will leave you on this ice ball without a ship. You will be dead within hours. Yeah, yeah. We could say, I hear you, but I don't like working for free, or Mathis was the one shooting off at the mouth or understood. Oh, and there's one more thing. Your little friend can tag along until we get to the outer doors of the prison, but I will be damned if I'm letting them inside. We have a lot of ground to cover between the landing area and the lock, so let's get moving. So no companions inside. Interesting. What? What are you guys doing on the tarp? Are, are you really on the tarp? Okay, uh, speak to Delgado at the outer door. What? 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 <laughs> they just vanished. <laughs> they just disappeared. Okay. All right, uh, my little friend, where is she? Where's Andresia? Where is Andresia? Oh, 
I'm getting and once again we are triumphant well there she is I'm getting audio sync issues I'm not sure why and there's the lock Alright, is it worth exploring this entire thing? Quite. Probably not. These ice monsters just just pop right out of the frozen hard ice. What? Are you kidding me? Are they, are they hurt? What happened here? <laughs> Nothing there now. Did I glitch it? There he is, there's Delgado. Eh. Adhesive on the aliens, Oxhorn. There Keep we go, wow, going. yeah. They disappeared and then got attacked by these guys. I hope wherever you store that the smell will not be an issue. To die. Move on. <laughs> Try it. Watch my back. Easy, Mickey. Now we are having fun. They were barely good for target practice. Wait, what was that? Bad strike! Reloading! <laughs> Never give companions grenades. It's a lesson I have yet to learn. Right, well that was interesting. That was really, really interesting. But here we are. Here we are. The place where Jasper Griggs laid the groundwork for finding the legacy, and eventually, the Crimson Fleet. The lock. Refresh my memory, what was the lock? About a hundred years ago, this icebox was a maximum security penitentiary for the UC. Originally, they just tossed prisoners onto the surface of Subarov. But after people cried foul, they built this place. Cozy, huh? Exactly how long was Jasper Cricks in this place? Around five years. Rumor says he started planning his escape the moment that he arrived. All right, I'm ready. Yeah, he needs to get this thing open like right now. It's freezing out here. Then crank up your suit heat, Mathis, because it's probably not going to get much better once we are inside. All right, let's keep moving. Standing out here isn't doing us any good. This ID card cost a small fortune. Let's hope it pays off. <laughs> we are in. Let's go. Ryan Spencer says that you can't re-enter the lock. All right, then I'm gonna do a hard save here. And uh, my followers are outside. Well, I suppose that's good. It means I'm not gonna get First any- First time I have been inside this part of the lock. So keep your eyes open. See anything unusual, call it out. If it's hostile, take it down. Good reason. How many people did the UC stick down here, Dal? A couple of hundred at least. Might not look like much, 
but it was better than trying to survive on the surface. Well, not much better. Even with the heating on, this place looks like a goddamn dump. Now you know why the prisoners got fed up and looked to Crix to lead them out of here. And that's how the Crimson Fleet began. Yeah, yeah, we've all heard the story. It's not a story, Mathis. It's history. Remember that. Now, keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. Ah, this is a really cool dungeon. I love it. Central transfer chamber. Back to the surface. Are they gonna give me a, a chance to just explore? I hope they stop here soon. A novice locked. Storage box. Annie Moose says, you're in the wrong system, Ox. <laughs> oh man, you guys just love trolling me. Troll, troll, troll. them to a cell block. Could you imagine being stuck under a ton of ice like this for the rest of your life? Yeah, sure. Must have been awful. Better them than us, though, am I right? Wait, shut up a second! Did you hear that? Whoa, something's out there. More of these things. Take them all down! Tons of adhesive. And adhesive is what I need, but now I'm completely encumbered, and I don't have a companion to carry my crap, so I'm gonna have to get rid of, I'm gonna have to just drop stuff that's weighing me down. Impact grenades, yeah, it's a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna just drop all of that. Stun mine, I'm gonna drop all of my mines. That puts me at 170. Adhesive, adhesive, adhesive. Oh yeah. Thank you, chat. This is where we go for adhesive. Okay, so Delgado is waiting for me, which means I've got an opportunity to explore this entire thing. And I have to find incriminating evidence, right? So I'm gonna be as thorough as I possibly can. Let me know if I miss anything. Chad previously said that there was some evidence in the warden's office, and I will do my best to find the warden's office. David Copperfield, Bleak House, Hard Times, Nicholas Nickleby, Rhapsody on a Windy Night, Ship Repair Fundamentals, and The Light of Stars. I believe I've read all of those. Caseless Ammunition. What? And... What? I'm looting. Crimson Fleet should be used to that, right? I hear something. The heck? It must have been the imagination. Ooh. But it's not any good. Wow, this Bounty Hunter spacesuit is better all around. And yet it doesn't have the legendary effects that I need. Advanced locked weapon crate. Let's see. 
Bingo. Bingo. Not used. Let's see, that is for that. So that can be for that on the bottom, which means we just need to cover that. And it's empty! Oh. Why do they do that to me? Wrecker Lawson says, pick a spot to dump all your stuff at and make trips back and forth. At the end, you can just grab everything and slowly hobble your way out. <laughs> I mean, that would work, yeah. It would take a lot of time. I don't think I really want to invest that amount of time, but it would definitely work. I just want to focus right now. I want to I want to get in, get what I need for the quest, get everything that I'm not going to be able to come back for later because scrap is replaceable. What? Ammunition is replaceable, but unique items and lore that is not replaceable. Okay, where is he? He's over there. Let's go over here. That's where we came down from. We ooh, you see guard. They left a UC guard corpse here? He's chained. Wow. He died of exposure. Man, they really hated the UC. Okay. Now, we strolled down here talking with Delgado, and I want to make sure we didn't pass up any evidence. So we're going to go back up really quickly and make sure that we scan every nook and cranny before moving on. Find a little, little hidey hole over here. And an expert locked safe. Uh, All right, not used. Bottom two, bottom two, bottom. All right, well, that's def uh, definitely gonna help. All three, bottom two. Anything for the top? No, nothing for the top. All right, this is just for the middle. So if we place that there, that means that for the bottom two, we're gonna need no, that's not going to work. Okay, so we need that that's going to be for the bottom. That should work for the bot. There we go. So we've got the middle sorted. Let's work on the bottom now. If that's for the bottom, then all we need is one of these. Okay, which means that the rest can all be used for the top. All right, so we have to use those. Nice, elbow grease gear. Furious Magstrom. Take it for a test spin. Oh, 
Okay, so no lore up here. I was so proud of myself for finding this little hidey hole, but no lore up here. All right, just loot. That's cool. I'll take it. Okay, staircase comes down here. Let's go counterclockwise then. Right, we've got an office here. Processing. And a terminal. Yes. Transfer area guards workstation. Uh, Lism1560 slash UC message. LISM stands for Lock Intra Prison Message System from Security Chief Sally Pitchard, Authority 23131 to Transfer Area Guard Station regarding prisoner arrival procedures. Please use this message as an addendum to the Lock Handbook Section 17 Arrivals. As of the receipt of this message, prisoner arrival procedures are to change as follows. 1. Confirm prisoner identity, use DNA Identikit, and prepare to pre trans uh, and compare to pre-transmitted records. Secure type six leg and arm restraints, remove transfer restraints, on-duty physician performs examination, examination, and administer full vaccine suite. On-duty physician embeds subdernal tracking tag, transfer prisoner to intake area for assignment. Lock inspection message system 1566. From security officer Chiang Tim to all security staff, prisoner slang addendum. I was asked by security chief Pit uh, Pritchard to provide an addendum to the prisoner slang guide. If you have any questions, send a lism to me and I'll respond as soon as possible. Day shift equals life sentence. 24 seven equals life sentence without a chance of parole. <laughs> Airlocked equals death sentence. Kit equals prison sentence. Fire suit equals prison jumpsuits, yellow. Coolant equals prison made alcohol. Grab jump equals effect from taking illicit substances. And jettison equals using the restroom. Of course it does. Mr. Master Chief says, did Delgano give you a hard time, Zox? I know that, but get used to it. You will kill all the Crimson Fleet soon, very soon. So just stay cool for now. Remain undercover. I got your back. Thank you, Mr. Master Chief. I assumed that we'd get an opportunity to kill all of the, all of the Crimson Fleet, but I guess now I know. Liz, a message from Security Officer Kuyang Lim to all security staff regarding this month's confiscated goods. Here's the list of this month's confiscated goods, which were found during incoming prisoner body cavity searches. Oh, dear God. Are now locked in the evidence section. Five times handmade shivs. Eleven times illicit substances. Four cred sticks, two data drives, both contained entertainment data. That equals porn. And one times submachine gun disassembled. Wow. Somebody disassembled a submachine gun and tried to sneak it in a body cavity. That's just impressive. Really? Uh, both, <clears throat> both bottom only. Wow. 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 There it is. All right. <clears throat> bottom only. Bottom only. That makes it easier. Both. Both. So if we use that, and then we use that, we've done the bottom. Uh, so for this, let's try that. And that.
Bounty Hunter Space Helmet. It's nice. But not better than my legendary set. And another dead UC guard. Okay, no evidence down here. A dead prisoner. <clears throat> We've got prisoner scrubs, is that unique? I'll probably find another one. I'm surprised they would leave prisoners down here. I thought they were all trying to get out together. Maybe it was a prisoner who pissed off somebody. Recon stim, battle stim, recon stim. And that one I can't loot. Need bigger cuffs for prisoner JC number 1932. This guy is huge. Okay. There's a room up there. We haven't gone over there yet. All right, let's explore over here. This leads to B block, C block, workroom, and storage. That's probably where we are going to go for the quest. So let's not go there just yet in case we accidentally trigger something, like having them move on, which I don't want to happen before we talk to them. So we'll go up here. Modified arc welder. You know, for Mathis being all about the loot, he's not doing a lot of looting. Okay, so this is the bottom section. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, secure access to D block. That's probably where we are going to come out. We do have this upper section. Uh, let's see if we can find a way in there. We got more lockers. Did we get these lockers Wait, already? We what did. was that? The heck? That was in the depository. Secure access. So we're not going to get to there until later on as well. And we already we already explored everything in there. So uh, let me peer down this hallway really quickly, and then I think we need to move on. Oh wait a minute, what's that? Ooh, we've got a ladder freaking out here. All right, so we're on top of the ceiling. This is where the ice caved in. But there's nothing here. <laughs> All right, that's where we're gonna go. So let's talk with Delgado. Must be a nest. I bet these things are crawling all over the place. Yeah, and their bodies probably heard us firing from about a kilometer away. Hallelujah. What do you mean? Think about it, genius. We just unleashed hell on these things. Do you have any idea how far the sound of gunfire carries? Especially on a barren ice ball like this? Sounds like someone needs to grow a pair, we could say, or you're right, we need to move quickly. 
Hey, how about that? Guess you're not so stupid after all. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, look at that. One firefight and the two of you become best buddies. Now let's see. Looks like we are inside some sort of prisoner transfer area, but everything is locked down tight. Since you are such good friends, why don't you and Mathis head up to that control room and see if you can get some more of these doors open? Okay, proceed to the control room. Storage, workroom, C block, B block. The whole roof's coming down! Whoa! Damn it. Damn it indeed. Well... This ice and rock must be several meters thick. God damn it, we're cut off! Hey, Dell! Can you hear me? Dell! Shit. There's no way we're getting through here. Well, this is just great. The hell are we supposed to do now? <clears throat> just shut up and let me think. <clears throat> or maybe we can cut through the debris, or... We stick with the plan. The plan? Who gives a shit about the plan? Let's face it. We're on our own now. Do you think Delgado is testing us? You think he rigged that collapse on purpose? No. No way. I get that we're down here trying to prove ourselves. But I don't think this is what Delgado had in mind. I hope you have <clears throat> a new plan in mind, because I sure don't. Or first thing we need to do is find a way out of this place, or we should continue to follow Delgado's orders. Um, let's focus on survival. I mean, we can accomplish Delgado's orders while at the same time trying to find a way out of this place. Well, yeah, we'll get to that eventually. For right now, I have a much better idea. We use this opportunity to take out Delgado, and at the same time, make some serious credits for ourselves. I have a feeling this guy is testing my loyalty. I have a feeling that he's actually working with Delgado. Now, I don't think Delgado planned that cave-in, but could it be that this guy is working with Delgado to test my loyalty? Are you serious? We're really doing this right now? Yeah, we're doing this right now. Or maybe we should wait until the next time we're on an alien world and separated from Delgado by an ice fall. How are we supposed to take him out? We bide our time. And when the moment's right, we hit him with everything we've got. Even the almighty Delgado won't stand a chance if we work together. This is becoming multi-layered here. I'm not working with the UC to murder Delgado. I'm working with the UC to bring him to justice. That said, getting rid of Delgado would completely cripple the Crimson Fleet. I mean, they'd find someone else, but we already learned that the Crimson Fleet is really hurting right now. I don't think betraying him is a good idea for the uh, for working undercover, so I'm going to say I'm not betraying Delgado. Oh, come on. We're just a couple of rooks. When are we ever going to have a chance like this again? Let's pretend for a second Delgado's correct, and there's information here about Crix's legacy. Once we get rid of him, we'll dig up the garbage ourselves and sell whatever we find to Neva. We'll be rolling in credits. Won't the information be worth more than she'd ever pay us? Pfft, hell no. Come on, we both know anything we find here about the legacy is going to be a dead end. If Neva wants to spend the rest of her life chasing ghosts, let her. We got more important things to do, like spending all of our money. <clears throat> you want the Crimson Fleet chasing us for the rest of our lives? No, 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 no way. Listen to me. 
We're going to be handing Neva leadership of the Crimson Fleet on a platter. She'll be thanking us for getting rid of Delgado. I mean, come on. I'll bet you a month's share that he's never been this vulnerable. It's perfect. How do I know you're not just a plant set up by Delgado to test my loyalty? That's kind of what I was thinking. Are you crazy? I'm no rat for Delgado. I'm busting the ass to become one of the Crimson Fleet captains just like you. And in case you missed it, that icefall trapped both of us in here. Unless we find a way out, no one's reporting anything to anyone. Ever again. I think he's a, I think he's a plant. I think he's testing me. Not gonna happen. Oh, fine. Suit yourself. You know, for a second there, I was almost starting to respect you. Now, let's find a way out of here. Mathis is now following me. Alright. Interesting. I wonder if I chose correctly. I mean, you can't trust anyone in the Crimson Fleet, let alone a guy who's already gonna murder, wants to murder the man he's supposed to be working for. Like, why would I trust him, ever? Whoops. There we go. Really? A magnet? That's it? Zarteth says working with Mathis is so pointless and frustrating. Just poke out his eye and he shows <sighs> his true be a face way out as of this Mathis. Goddamn place. Don't worry, Mathis. I will save us, but we're not betraying Delgado yet. Kind of in an undercover mission here. Not that you know that, of course. Right, let's go deeper in. Laundry, C block, B block, and we are cut off from that as well. QC must have burned some serious cash when we lost this place. <laughs> Serves them right. <laughs> I guess that's one way through. Loose panel. Partners in time. Okay, Zouch. What the hell was so important that you had to drag me all the way out of A Block at this hour? You know Jasper Crick's over in D Block? He's busting out of here, and he wants me to join him. Cricks really thinks he can bust out of the lock? Why the hell am I just hearing about it now? Cricks only told the few people he trusts. He even told us to keep it to ourselves. We all cut our throats. Then why the hell are you telling me? Come on, I gotta explain this. It's because I like you, Rickard. And I want you to come with me. We've been meeting in this storeroom for, for months to... Well, <laughs> you know. I was hoping we had something a little more than that. Damn, Zouch. I, uh... Didn't know you cared that much. <laughs> you give me the signal and I'll... Oh shit, wait. I forgot to turn off the recording. Recording? What the hell, Rickard? We never meet down here this late. I thought you were gonna kill me, all right? Kill you? God, no. I... I love you. All right? <laughs> you gotta make me say it. Shit. I'm sorry, baby. Here. Let me turn this thing off and I'll... apologize. Okay? Okay, but I don't think that's the evidence we're looking for. I bet those things are crawling. Right behind the walls. Ugh. Oh, you're gonna be chatting at me this entire time, aren't you? Oh. Okay. Ooh, we got some destroyed robots. 
I swear I am never putting ice in me drinks ever again. <laughs> oh, the things that co go through your mind, Mathis. It's cold here. I will never have a nice drink again. <laughs> Mr. Master Chief says, uh, my achievement has been disabled because of Delgado stuck in the control room when ambushed by alien spider. I had to no-clip myself into the control room to talk to him. Curse you, Delgano. Be thankful that that happened to you on the PC. I mean, God knows what a, an Xbox player would have to do to be able to continue with the quest. He'd have to reload a previous save. Anyone still alive up there? How can these Waiting things live back. in this kind of cold? Answer if you can. That's bullshit. Crap. Is this thing even on? Use the intercom up there if you can. I will. I'm going to loot first, but okay. You're Is just going to keep talking. There? Quit screwing around and pick up. Delgado, I swear to God, if you don't shut up. Damn it. Is anyone there? Can either of you hear me? Hello? Hello? Come on, we need these doors open. All right, there's the intercom. Anyone We've got a still terminal alive here. up there? Use the intercom up there if you can. Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Hello? Hello? I'm looting. Can I'm either looting. of you hear me? Yes, I'm looting. I'm looting. Give me a... Crap. Is this thing even on? Quit screwing around and pick up. God. All right, let's see what this terminal says. Is that... Security controls, that's what we're going to need to do to uh, access the door. So we'll do that later. Instead, we'll read uh, lock inspection intra-prison uh, message system. From Warden Tom Gillespie to transfer area operations regarding prisoner classific classifications protocol. Please be advised that all prisoners are to be classified and sent to their proper intake areas based on the following criteria. A block, standard prisoner unit A through K. B block, standard prisoner unit L through Z. C block, violent offender unit. D block, high risk prisoner unit. E block, solitary confinement unit. Lock intra-prison message system from Security Chief Sally Pritchard to transfer area operations regarding Jasper Crick's prisoner arrival. Please be aware that we have a Class 5 extremely dangerous slash highly violent prisoner transfer occurring today. Jasper Crick's. He will be arriving on Shuttle 5 with a full escort detail. This individual is to be immediately transferred to D-Block after arrival. Do not attempt to search or perform standard medical examinations until the prisoner is in a secure location. I urge all security personnel not to underestimate Crix's ability to escape custody. Okay, before we Someone access security there. controls... Waiting yeah, to yeah, hear yeah. back. Answer Let's if you can. Income. So the two of you made it, huh? Mr. Master Chief says, too late to go back now. I seem to be almost at the end point of my gameplay. Maybe next time. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. That's a bummer you got that glitch. Why are you so surprised to see us? You kidding? After what just happened? After that ice fall? I didn't know what to think. I figured the two of you were crushed to death. Thanks for the warning about the collapse. Or a hell of a way to start the job. Or it was a close one, but we're in one piece. Well, brush the dust off and listen up. We have obviously been cut off, so I need you to do two things. First, I want you to keep looking for a way to open the rest of the doors down here. Otherwise, I'm not going anywhere. And second, try and dig up whatever you can about Jasper Griggs. You both got that? How will I know if I find anything useful about Jasper Griggs? I'll make it easy for you. If you find anything that says Crick's or Legacy, you grab it. This really isn't that difficult. How are we supposed to open the doors from up here? <sighs> Dios mio. Do I have to explain <laughs> absolutely everything to the two of you? <laughs> you are standing in the control room for this part of the facility. Look for a switch or a terminal or make a wish. I don't care, just hurry! Maybe we should wait for you here, or we got it. Yeah, you'd better. 
And tell Mathis not to get any bright ideas, or I will gut him myself. Override the lockdown. All doors have been unsealed. Attention. Lockdown mode has been rescinded. And what does that mean? I see a lot of red dots on my watch. Prison scrubs, lots of prison scrubs. An advanced lock weapon case. Both, both, none, bottom. Top. Bottom. Which means At least he didn't die from exposure. That's a lot of... Look at this dump. <laughs> tomato I can't paste. imagine being stuffed down here to rot. Poor bastard. Surface tension. After action report, guard Bryant reporting. The shuttle bay techs were complaining about hearing some type of banging or scraping on the access doors, so we were sent to investigate. We headed to the surface and immediately engaged some indigenous creatures that had been burrowing through the ice. We managed to drive them off, but I'm certain they'll be back. Fortunately, our squad only suffered minor injuries. <sighs> First, we deal with all the maintenance issues at the lock, and now this. If this keeps up, I'm going to request a transfer. How could they build an entire facility like this without knowing the local fauna? If those creatures could dig through to the prison. Pick one up. You can't get it anywhere else, says Ryan. All right. Prison scrubs. Got it. Right. Prisoner intake workstation. Lism message from Warden Tom Galipsy to all staff regarding environmental co uh, conditions. <clears throat> Please be advised that we are taking all staff complaints regarding the intolerable temperatures within the lock very seriously. Unfortunately, our facility has been provided a poorly engineered heating system that is woefully insufficient to combat the cold, leaving some sections of the prison at temperatures as low as 5 degrees Celsius? <laughs> oh my god. Administration understands the conditions within the lock are less than ideal for staff, so we ask for your patience while we wait for an improved system to be delivered from New Atlantis. In the meantime, portable heating units and cold weather gear has been made available for assignment. Please see your section supervisor for details. Lism uh, from Security Chief Sally Pritchard to all staff regarding improvised weapons. This security alert is to be issued to all personnel. It has been brought to our attention that some of the prison population has discovered a way to create improvised weapons by carving chunks of permafrost from cell block walls. Thermal coils from portable heating units are being cannibalized and used to manufacture these dangerous items. Therefore, security has no choice but to remove the portable heating units from all prison cells. <laughs> Extra blankets and cold weather gear such as jackets and thermal undergarments will be distributed to replace the units. 
If you observe any prisoner in possession of an improvised weapon, be certain to activate a blue alert before approaching the subject. Oh, these prisoners. Well, they were so stupid that they got their heating removed. Lism from Event Supervisor Wayne Harishman to all staff, this month's trivia questions. I'd like to congratulate Brian Richard for winning last month's trivia contest. This month's questions are below. Good luck. One. What type of star pulsates rapidly while causing it to vary in diameter, temperature, and luminance? A pulsar, I guess? Two, what is another name for a neutron star with an extremely powerful magnetic field that might occur after a supernova? Maybe that's a pulsar. Well, then what pulsates rapidly, varying in diameter? I don't know. Three, what is the second brightest star in New Atlantis's night sky? What are, what are the largest known structures in the universe? I mean, dark matter, maybe? What is the graph called on which the intrinsic brightness of stars is plotted against their temperatures? God, geez, these are tough. I don't know. I would not be good at trivia night here on the prison. Oh, right. We got to open the door. Activate D-Block Auxiliary Power. Huh. What's that over there? Where are you going, Magic? Looks like there's a guard tower overlooking the cell block. We should check it out. I agree. Good eye, Mathis. Michael Findlay became a bronze ox. Thank you, Michael Findlay. Records. Transfer. Both blocked. We can only go to D block. All right. Let's see. Anything by the benches. More prisoner scrubs. Looking for hollow tapes. Looking for any evidence at all. What I wouldn't give for a space heater and a hot cup of bogs right now. A converted refined lawgiver. I mean, it looks. I love the lawgiver. It's just a gorgeous weapon. Long barrel laser sight recon scope muzzle break. You hear that? Nah, never mind. This place is starting to get to me. Beautiful. G block. While we're picking through the trash, we might as well grab some good stuff for ourselves. Yeah, if you want that lawbringer, go ahead. I, uh, I'm not gonna need it. Security guard helmet. Wow, this is just, oh, there they are. Juvenile, juvenile, go, grill, grilloba hunter. Holy crap. Can't believe this is where the fleet started. It's history, man. <laughs> Blows me mind. It is history and you want to kill the leader of the fleet right now, just why? So I currently have the cornered mag here. It's got a 300 fire rate with uh, physical damage of 12. The mag storm is what I've, that's got a 400 fire rate with a physical damage of 10. Wow.
Shane says, what if he's undercover too, Ox? I mean, yeah. He could be undercover, but they would tell us, wouldn't they? Wouldn't they say there's another other undercover agent? By the way, don't kill him. What was that flying thing? Did you see that? Damn. It would be incredibly reckless of the UC to send another undercover agent here and to not tell me. Because I could kill him, and what if I did? That would be insane. All right, we came from there. We've got a sniper's point over here. And we've got two paths over here. I think that's the way we need to go, so let's explore up here real quick. Hey. Reliant medical uniform. D-block section one cell release switch and a broken intercom. We can't activate it. Cell release switch is locked. Novice lock. <clears throat> Should be easy. Hmm. Okay, so we need to move this. On a mag pressure tank. Yeah, we're just not getting much good stuff from this. is really cool. Alright, that goes down to security. Let's see what's down there. They spit! They spit things! Suspicious stolen goods. After action report, guard Bryant reporting. We got a tip from an inmate about some equipment being stolen from one of the supply rooms. We did a thorough sweep of the place and came up with two mining lasers and several power packs missing. After the alarm was raised, all of the inmate's cells were searched, but we turned up empty-handed. I have no idea how the inmates were able to get into that storage room and hide that gear without being picked up on camera. I'm starting to suspect that the inmates could be receiving help from some of the staff of this facility. Get back here! Take me on! I dare ya! How did you get down there, Mathis? Well, I'm busy looting. I'll be down to help in a minute. You should have stuck with me. Cell block release is locked. 
Okay, I have a feeling I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, let's go up to the guard tower. That's gonna send us to go and, and tag all of these. Before we make our way down. Pickwick Papers. We've read that one. That one's locked with a novice lock. Dead body inside. Someone who didn't make it out. Huh. Okay, so this is for the bottom only. That goes there. That goes there. The Count of Monte Cristo, green fashionable suit. God. Gotta keep it reloaded. Let's try this. Different ammo type. I hear you. And this is an advanced cell. Jeez. I'm gonna get through picking all of these and then somewhere I'm gonna find a switch that just opens them all, won't I? All right, so that goes there. That goes there. Oh God, this is a tricky one. That goes there. But if we do that, we've got overlap there. And that's the only place that one could go. No, it could. Yeah, that's the only place. So it's either that or that. Okay. So if we put that there. We need... I'm gonna auto slot. If we put that there, then we're going to need. Yeah. But it doesn't fit. So it's a good thing we didn't slot that. Man, they've all got these weapons in the cells. These aren't even... They aren't even improvised weapons. They're straight up guns. And I'm encumbered again. Jeez. Sort by weight. I 
That's 10 pounds right there. Whoever was in this cell spent a long time in this cell. Wow, someone's an artist. Okay, that's the path we went down to get to security, I think. I don't know that's the path we went down. Bottom. Both. None. Both. Both. Bottom. Okay, well those two overlap. Oh, it's not gonna make it easy. That would work. And that would work. So then if we use... Tell you what, let's just sort. Um, if we put that there, you know, we could put that there, in which case. We'd have to put one there. It still leaves one that we don't have yet, uh, though. So that's not right. If we put that there, then we could put that there. Okay. So that does the bottom. These two for the bottom, which means we can use the rest of these for the top. That there, and that there. All right, so that goes down. We need to go up. Alright, let me do a hard save here because Mathis wants to talk and I have a feeling it's going to be consequential. Jake and the Inu part two. I believe we've read this one. Yep. Okay, what are you gonna say? You really want me to betray Delgado? Or you're really an undercover agent? Mathis, where are you? We're in the tower, hello, Mathis. Come here, what are you doing? Mathis, we're up here, where are you going? 
What are you doing? You said you wanted to talk when we got to the tower. I'm in the tower. Gonna take the long way, huh? Prisoner records. D block section zero one prisoner list. Gerald Hawk. Unknown, tracking, not responsive. 02. Okay, so 101, Gerald Hawk. 102, unoccupied. 103, Richard Roderick. Uh, tracking, non-responsive. 104, Emilio Villanueva. Non-responsive. 105, unoccupied. 106, Idris Nakar. Deceased, incident. 107, Patrick Heister. Non-responsive. 108, Raymond Lee. Non-responsive. 109, Luca Fan. Non-responsive. 110, Craig Raymond. Rahan, non-responsive. 111, unoccupied. 112, Junaid Hale, unresponsive. 113, Xander Butler, unresponsive. Okay, I'm not going to read all of these. I'm going to go through until we see something that's interesting. Unoccupied, non-responsive, non-responsive. Transferred to medical block, Braden Haley. Okay. Section 2, database corrupted. Ooh. Unlock D block section three. Something interesting was here. Enzo Owens, Keenan Dixon, awful name, Saxon Caldwell, Cole Bowles transferred to solitary block. Unoccupied Caius McCarthy, Ephraim Talbot, Aston Kane. Unoccupied Piers Sutton, Rion Hodgkins, K. Mooley, Mooney, Milos McPhee, Cohen Hansley, Jasper Cricks. Okay, so Jasper Cricks was in D, D block three, 118. D block switch control. Warning, do not unlock cell block switches without performing a full identity check from the on-duty personnel present at the switch locations. Follow all security and safety protocols as outlined on the security, uh, block security manual. I mean, we want to unlock all of them, right? Let's see. Messages. Uh, Warden Tom Galipsy to security staff. Cell block access. Due to ongoing security concerns, please adhere to the following procedures when accessing prison cell blocks for inspections and prisoner roll call lineups. One, report to the appropriate switch station for your assigned block station. Ensure there are a minimum of four security personnel in position. Use the switch station intercom to contact the block tower block guard tower provide the daily cipher code for access wait for the tower to unlock your switch station activate the switch station this will open all the cells in your assigned block station once your activity has been completed remember to secure your block station from warden tom Glipsy to transfer area operations d block armed response protocols d block has been designated as a high risk prisoner unit which means it will be housing some of the most dangerous offenders in our facility all D-Block security personnel are therefore fully authorized to use whatever force is necessary to defend the lives of any staff members that might be threatened by an inmate. If a weapon is discharged in the line of duty, duty be sure to fill out an ARP-07 form on any available workstation to log the incident. And finally... Ooh. From Security Chief Sally Pritchard to D-Block Guard personnel, cell D-02106... That's next to 108, which was Crix's cell. Please note that security has come across items in cell D02106 that could be the catalyst for a possible escape attempt. At the time I am sending this message, that particular cell was unoccupied, so regular inspections weren't being performed, meaning that our team overlooked the contents. Please keep the cell sealed, and we will investigate after I handle some other issues that have suddenly popped onto my radar. 
All right, so there's the stash in 106. We've got Crix's cell in... I thought it was 108. Was it not 108? 118. 118. So wait a minute. That's not the, that's not the same case. 106 is going to be across from 118. All right, and the switch control is section one. All right, let's unlock all the switches. Cell D03118. Okay. Some place to start, I guess. Well, he never actually got to me. I worry that I missed out on, on some dialogue. Well, there he is. Okay, uh, he wanted to talk, but he never got up here, and I missed out on some dialogue. Let's load my quick save. No, it was a hard save. Because I don't want to... <coughs> there he is. Finally. All right, you wanted to talk. Let's talk. Wow, Mathis. This is a freaking master lock. I ruined it. I mean, if we use those two, hold on, that's gonna be too big. If we use those two for the bottom, then we still gotta figure out. All right, I'll figure that out later. <laughs> Mathis, I'm right here. Mathis, could you, you wanted to talk to me. Malchris says, Ox, when you congratulate new members, say it like the prize bot from Fallout 76, please, Lamal. Mathis, come on. Oh my God. Do I really have to follow you all the way down until you're able to talk? You don't want to mess with me. My god, his AI is just making this impossible. They're not even close. They're far on the opposite. Wow, I'm getting a national alert test. Just everything is happening in real life. Math I'll show you what the Crimson Fleet's made of! Okay, can you chill out now, please? So, have you changed your mind yet? Finally. Uh, what are we talking about again? <laughs> Don't act stupid. I'm talking about Off and Delgado and getting paid by Neva for the info on Crix. We could say we can't even get near Delgado. I don't want to talk about this right now or quit bringing this up or you're going to get us both killed. Let's try we can't even get near Delgado. Well, maybe we won't have to. You saw it back there. Those things, whatever they were, they've probably ripped him to shreds by now. Did the job for us. And if they haven't, we can still handle the job. We just have to get our hands a little dirty. 
Wouldn't be the first time, am I right? Doesn't Delgado have a bunch of his buddies with him? You didn't see. Those aliens were tearing through them like tissue paper. It'd be a miracle if any of them were alive. Saved us a hell of a lot of trouble. I mean, if he is dead by the aliens, why are we having this conversation? We could say, I'll consider it, but I'm not making any promises, or your plan is worthless unless we find that info, or no way, Mathis, I'm not going to be part of your plan. Again, he may be testing me. I mean, he's trying over and over and over again. <laughs> I'm not falling for it. Of all the people to get trapped here with, why the hell did I get stuck with you, huh? Fine, have it your way. So, now that we've made it to the guard tower, what's our next move, genius? We find a way out of this place and keep looking for info on Cricks on, along the way. Keep doing what we've been doing. Right. <laughs> Glad I asked. I suppose we should start off by searching the tower for the location of Crix's cell. If he stashed any useful information, it might still be hidden somewhere inside. Well, I'm glad I reloaded a save for that conversation. Okay, we've already gone through all of these cells. We now need to go back here to the guard tower. And get the information that we need from the terminal. Wait, I need to loot again, didn't, don't I? Yeah, I need to loot again because I reloaded a save, but there wasn't much to loot here anyway. Can you imagine how angry the prisoners were when they rioted? I would hate to have been one of the guards. Okay. Mr. Master Chief says, you missed my super chat about what Mathis is, Ox. Oh, sorry about that. Um, Mr. Master Chief. He says, maybe he's not an undercover agent, just a greedy pirate person want to stab on the big boss's back and crown himself and lead the command by himself, just like Starscream from Transformers. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. All right, prisoner records. We needed to get to this one. There we go. He's in cell 118. Let's go through these just to make sure. There's the switch controls. Let's unlock all the cells. Hold on. Let's make sure we've got everything in the list messages. It was the last one that's got talk about the stash. And then we unlock station two and station three. Cell D03118. Okay. It's a place to start, I guess. 118 and 106. One twenty. All right, so this is one twenty. It's not what we need. Let's try. Ugh, look at this cell. No wonder Crix wanted out of the place. There's 118. This is Crix's cell. Nothing. Okay, so we need to find 106. One seventeen. Paramour and Amp. Hey.
115. If we get out of here, remind me to thank Delgado for hanging us out to dry. 114. I mean, we're going in the right direction, but it's a dead end. Oh, this is what we could have jumped to from there. I see. And 113. Oh my gosh, that's... He was hoarding all the toilet paper. And here I thought we were going to be doing something fun, like rob a bank or something. You will drown! Drown in toilet paper! Okay, that goes back to the guard tower. Not the way we want to go. So we jumped from... There, I believe. Yeah, we jumped from there. We came from there, we jumped there. There's a path that goes down over there, but then there's also a path that goes down over here. This brings us down to the bottom. Before we go all the way down they to the aren't bottom. They are innocent enough to be poking through this scrap heap. Let's see where this takes us. Omega Volwin says you can decide Mattis's fate by the end, and there's a secret stash and evidence like this quest kind of aliens vibe to it. Thanks, Omega. Advanced Grendel. This is going to take us down to the ground, which we don't want to do just yet. You won't last long! Just, Mathis, please stick with me. Ventilation. You want to mess with a Crimson Fleet pirate? Ugh. Ugh. Got me! God, would you stop running around aggroing everything in the dungeon? Stay with me for crying out loud. <laughs> just, if you stick with me, you're not going to be constantly under fire. God, this guy is annoying me to no end. Okay, we're in ventilation. Secure access. Hmm. Hmm. Hello. Quick save. Requires key. Never mind. We gotta find the key. Anything else, Mathis? Just gonna aggro more. All right, this is la locked with a master lock. It's a workroom. No digi picks? Did I really use all my digi picks on that last one? Oh my god! A hundred years use old. Eh? It's amazing this entire place hasn't collapsed by now. Wow, I'm I'm out of digipix. That's a first. Okay, well I'll probably find more. So let's wait and come back.
Give me a digipick. Man, I need to buy as many digipicks as I can find on merchants from now on, huh? Can you imagine how angry the prisoners were when they rioted? I would hate to have been one of the guards. Yeah, you've said that already, Mathis. You hear that? Ah, never mind. This place is starting to get to me. Starting to get to me, too. <laughs> okay, we came up from there. This is just a maze. Did we come up from there? Where did we come from here? Look at this dump. I can't imagine being stuffed down here to rot. Poor bastards. D120. Okay, so... We explored there. We came down from there. That was the guard tower. We then came through here. Leads down. We couldn't open that door, so we went down here. That leads to the ground. This leads to the cafeteria. Oh, jeez. This leads down. Okay, so yeah. Then we were forced to go this, this way. Is where the fleet we came down here. We did not come down here. Did we come down here? We did. Okay, so then this comes back over. We looted that, and we've done full circle. Right, so we need to get up here. Showers. Only Carter's locker key can open that door. UC must have burned some serious cash when they lost this place. Serves him right. No digipex. Crix's journal entry number four. Store prices are permanently reduced by 2% and you permanently sell items for 2% more on top. This place is a digipex sink. They're just consuming all my digipics and not giving me any. I've got a locker there that I need to lock, unlock. A hundred years old. Got one old. here that I need a key for. It's amazing this entire place hasn't collapsed by now. And this leads back to security, which we already explored. Here I thought we were going to be doing something fun, like rob a bank or something. Okay. Well, I think that means we need to go to the ground floor now. No one.
targeting can be really finicky. 103. Four. Uh, one day, I bet those said, things are crawling day. right behind the walls. Ugh. There's one oh six. Someone was definitely prepping to bust out of this joint. Gigi picks. Finally. Professionals refined tombstone. Ooh. And a cutter. Two cutters. All right, so there was the loot in 106. And finally, we got some Gigi picks. If we get out of here, remind me to thank Delgado. For hanging us out to dry. Okay, well, let's go back and get that master lock door. If I can find it <laughs> at this point. Uh, if I can find it, I believe we came down from here. And there's the showers, there's the kitchen. So we went through the kitchen. And we came. <laughs> they aren't uh, paying over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This scrap heap. Uh, but uh, no, there was dead ends. Then we came through here. Showers had one that I wanted, right? Yeah. There we go. Workroom. I've got one auto slot banked. Okay, before I spend a digipick, I'm going to quick save, because I don't have enough digipicks to get through all of the locks here. I've only got two left. I swear. Oh, I swear, if you don't shut up, Mathis. All right, one, two, jeez. Here we go, this is for the top only. That's good, that's a, that's a relief. All right, that leaves a twofer. All. Okay, we're looking for another top only. This is top or bottom. And they don't give us one. So if we use that one, we'll have to use both of these, which I don't want to do. Or this. Now this could be used on the middle and it could be used at the very, on the second one or it could be used on the very bottom one. Let's see if we can solve the bottom one first. If we use that there and we use that there, that sorts the bottom. Which means we can safely use that for the top. Now let's solve the, the second ring so that we can decide if we need it for the second ring. This can be used on the second ring. And if we use that there, then we're gonna need, well, we're using that for the bottom, so we can't use that for the second ring. What else can be used on the second ring? This. And that, okay. So we can use that for the second ring, which means we can use this for the top, use that for the top, use this, and that. We've already got the bottom sorted. We've got that and that, which means we now have to figure out there 
And there, boom. I am never putting ice in my drinks ever again. Make it worth my time. Did you pick? Yes. A pharmaceutical lab. I don't need a pharmaceutical lab. Is that it? Oh, no, impact grenades. Hey. And I'm encumbered. Great. That's it. No keys, no evidence. While we're picking through the trash, we might as well grab some good stuff for ourselves. That's it? A little disappointed. A little disappointed. All right, we need to drop more heavy stuff. Let's go to, uh, let's see, any gr any mines? Let's drop that mine. We'll keep the grenades for now. Let's go to resources, sort by weight. Oh man, I kind of need the polytextile. I don't need the magnets. Zero wire. Okay, I've got five left. All right, so we need to go to the kitchen because there was a locker in the kitchen, I believe. And to do that, we need to go. Oh my God, this place is a maze. Let's get down here. And then that was a dead end. Wait, this is gonna, there we go. Kitchen was by the, no, it was the showers. It was the showers that had locker. Showers. Fuck. We do that there. Do that there. Put that there. No. Things live in this kind of cold. That's bullshit. Come on, I want, I want that one. Come on, let me pick it up, please. Ah. I think it's like a, a junk flush. It looks like a junk flush. Ah. Crap. Mm -hmm. All right. So, there's got to be a way out of this goddamn place. This requires a key, and it was Carter's Carter's locker. So we need to know what cell Carter was in so that we can find his locker. Um and that means we need to go back to the guard tower and see which cell Carter was in. I think I already unlocked all these cells, actually. So nothing new is going to come out. I think we've actually looted all of the cells on all of the different cell blocks. But we need to check Carter's cell to see if we can find his key. Also, we need to go to the bottom floor, which we've been avoiding. Carter, Carter, June, Carter, Jim Butler, Bean, O'Connor, Joshua, Carter. No! No! Enzo Dickinson, Caldwell, Bowes, Talbot, Kane, Piers, 
We are on Mafia Cohen Cricks. It must be in cell block two. <clears throat> Alt Grendel says chat is suggesting looking under the lamp in 118. Did I miss something in 118? Oh my god. Okay, I'll go back to 118. I also need to go to cell block two. Um section two for Carter. Because he wasn't in the other two, so by process of elimination. If we get out it's of part of the quest, says the chat. Alright. If it's part of the quest, then I won't worry about it. I'll find it when I need it. But chat is sent to go back to 118 ventilation. Uh, which means we need to go down. Look under the lamp in 118. Can you imagine how angry the prisoners were when they rioted? I would hate to have been one of the guards. Okay, that led to 106. <clears throat> so we went the wrong way. We needed to go towards 120. Lamp! Lamp! The base of this desk lamp appears to be loose. Pry it open. Oh my god. Best laid plans. Today, I bumped into someone in the mess hall yapping about a ship carrying a fortune in credits. I know it's usually bullshit, but he seemed to have details. After striking up a conversation, I found out the ship was a Galbank transport named Legacy that went down in some remote system during the war. This is exactly the score I'd been waiting to find. I need to contact Carter to let him know it's time to get off this rock. Carter! He'll help the mining details slip into the utility closet and ventilation room. That's where we'll dig. Not up. Through right to the armory. Carter mentioned that security keeps rotating codes on all the terminals in the lock, so we'll have to coordinate this carefully. For now, we'll continue using his locker in the showers area as a drop point for the code to the utility closet. By this time next month, I should be out of this dump and uploading those creds into my account. Okay, but he's not telling me where the key was. Telgado was right. Kriggs must have hit the Galbank transport and stashed away the money or something. If we play this right, we're gonna be filthy stinking rich in no time. <clears throat> okay, so where's the key? Jess Vicious says, real grandpa gaming skills, Ox. Joking. Thank you. Chat, I would have missed it. I would not have found it. So thank you. Right. Um, well, let's head down. It's the only place we have an explorer. must have yet. burned some serious cash when they lost this place. <laughs> Serves them right. <laughs>
Ah! Oh. Okay, both, none, bottom. There we go. Bottom. Uh, but we can't use both. Okay. So if we use this one, we need a threefer, which we don't have. If we use this one, we need this one. All right, so it's those two, which means we can use this one for the top. Nothing I want. Well, nothing I've got room for, anyway. Lame. Waste of a digipick. Okay. Just exploring I bet those everything are down here first. Right behind the walls. Ugh. <laughs> the way he says that, ooh, like he's really grossed out by bugs, this hardened, gristled pirate. All right. And here I thought we were going to be doing something fun, like rob a bank or something. It was a code. But he didn't tell us a code in the hollow tape. Whatever, I'm not going to complain. Credits. Argos extractor jumpsuit. Prison scrubs. And Carter's gig evidence. Okay, Carter. Confirming that the latest code to the utility room is four eight six one. Zero seven one. The mining crew tells me it'll take them a week to cut through the ice, so I'm giving you that long to square your end of the plan. When the tunnel reaches the armory, I'll get my people to start a riot. When you hear the fireworks go off, get your ass to the shuttle bay. We get one shot at this. If we play our cards right, this gets us one step closer to that fortune that went down with the legacy. You report any of this to the guards. Well, you know what will happen. Okay, now we need to get back to ventilation. Now we have the key that we need. Now, if we can just find our way back they to ventilation. <laughs> Oh, I'm definitely going to use this to get there because otherwise I'm going to get lost. There we go, back to ventilation. Omega Volwin says, how good is 100-year-old evidence anyway? That's a good point. We are trying to find evidence to put away members of the Crimson Fleet who are alive now. Why does the UC Sysdef want evidence about Crix's escape? Okay, maintenance, maintenance terminal code. Open door. A hundred years old. It's amazing this entire place hasn't collapsed by now. Very subtle, Kriggs. What I would 
Looking here for a space heater. Was this an armory? Looks like they cleared this place out. Calibrated Big Bang. Well, well, what do we have here? Uh, give me a sec. This ought to come in handy. Oh, man. Oh, man, he got it before I could. <laughs> oh, no, what did he get? He got it before I could get it. Oh, now All I've got right. a reason to Let's keep, keep him moving. alive. Or maybe to kill him so that I can loot his inventory. <laughs> That's a nice touch, though, because he's been talking about loot. And he hasn't looted a single thing. I thought it was safe to just loot everything. But now he's like, well, well, what have we here? And he gets it before I do. Well, either he's going to die so I can loot it off his inventory or I'm going to turn him into a companion or something so I can get it back. What? Where did they come from? Just, just completely out of the blue. God. All right, let me use a med pack. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm injured. I got infected. Security guard uniform. White Neo City poncho. I gotta see what a poncho looks like. I feel like I'm playing a Star Wars game. <laughs> looks great. Call me Cal Kestis. I got a poncho. Well, they didn't take all the ammo. They're leaving some for us. Ammo all over the place here. What was that? Okay, I think I got it all. That's going to be our way out. Oh! Alright, I'm standing on corrosive gas. But there's loot! I can't leave loot! Right, that goes there, and that goes there, so that goes... There. That goes there. Not worth it.
so bummed he got that weapon before me. No digipicks! I, did I use my last digipick? On the novice lock? Come on, I'm just blowing through digipicks. Ah, I want the safe! Just give me a sec to find it. Did you pick? Yep. Quick save. Oh, none, none. Bottom only. That works. Bottom only, again, that works. Right, um. Uh, what? None. None. So we have to do it with that. All right, if we do that, then we need two more. If we use that one, that'll do it. That'll solve it. So then these two have to be for the top. Don't give me another locked chest until you give me another digipick, please. While we're picking through the trash, we might as well grab some good stuff for ourselves. Roads lead to the control room. How can these things live in this kind of cold? That's bullshit. Sign of things to come. It's been a couple months since my arrival at the lock. And the place is continuing to go downhill. We've been dealing with TV malfunctions, communications issues with the key, faulty electronics, and unpredictable surface conditions. How this place manages to function at all is anyone's guess. No one's bearing the brunt of this more than the inmates. Normally, I wouldn't give a damn about them, but this is downright insane. I'm starting to get nervous that we're going to have a riot on our hands if conditions don't improve. I can't believe this is where the fleet started. It's history, man. Huh. Blows me mind. Event Supervisor's Workstation. Uh, limbs from Warden Tom Galipsy to Event Supervisor Wayne Harishman regarding prisoner birthday celebrations. <laughs> Wayne, we're going to have to put a stop to the prisoner birthday celebrations that you instituted last year. I understand that the morale of the prisoners is directly connected to how well they rehabilitate but these events have become far too destructive and dangerous. I know this is disappointing, but at the end of the day, we're a prison facility, not a hotel. These people are here because they committed heinous crimes against humanity, so they'll just have to deal with the loss of these parties. Lim's message from event supervisor Wayne Harishman to Warden Tom Galipsy regarding this month's trivia answers. Hey, we got the answers to the trivia. All right, now time to see if I got these right. Answer, a, a Cephid variable star? Yeah, I would not have gotten that. Answer for number two was a magnetar. I saw someone in the chat said magnetar, so you were right about that. Answer number three, Canopus. 
Answer number four, galaxy filaments. I said dark matter, galaxy filaments. Uh, Answer number five, a Hertzsprung Russell diagram. What's the heck? <laughs> I have this, no. I took one course on planets when I was in college on how planets were formed, and that's about the extent of my knowledge when it comes to astrophysics. To the barracks. Surface transfers. You hear that? Nah, never mind. This place is starting to get to me. We are really getting a lot of uh, chems. That's the one thing that they're giving to us in spades. I mean, I suppose it's not surprising you go to a, a penal colony, you, you go to a prison, and you walk away with a ton of drugs. <laughs> Cow, they just spawned them on us. <sighs> I wish I had more room. Needs them. There's a ton of, of uh, adhesive that I'm leaving behind, but I just don't have the room. I wish I could eat things directly while looking at it, instead of um, having to go through my inventory. Did you get out of the way? Out of the way. Mathis! I'm trying to loot. I know you already got the good stuff, but I want to get some good stuff too. Oh. Right, what ammunition am I burning through here? I've currently got that. I'm burning through my 50 MI. Six hundred rounds of that left. Six hundred rounds, because that's using the exact same ammunition type. Uh, we've got twenty thousand of the eleven millimeter now. So let, let's switch to the double A. Not exactly a nimble thing. Well, I'm leaving a novice lock behind. How much room do I have? I hate to leave all this adhesive. I've only got two pounds left. What can I drop to get all this adhesive? Resources, each of these is... Sort by weight. The problem is that I don't know what I need to drop. Where's all of the adhesive that I picked up? Uh, carapace, hide, vital fluids, gland, gland, tissue, tissue, flower. Where's all of the adhesive? Oh, there it is. Adhesive, vital fluids. There it is, I've got 26 adhesive. 0.2 pounds. Should be enough.
A close call. I'm on my second day at the lock, and I've already had a close call. Big fight broke out of C-Block, and Gillespie sent us in to break it up. Might have been half a dozen inmates. It was hard to tell. We almost had it under control, when one of them stuck a shiv into my leg. Luckily, the other guards dragged me out of there before he finished the job. Seems like the genius who designed this place didn't realize that the inmates would start carving weapons out of the permafrost. So now I'm cold, I'm tired, and my leg hurts like hell. Great way to start my first tour at this dump. Poor guy. I swear, I have never put an ice in drinks. Ever again. Here I thought we were going to be doing something fun, like rob a bank or something. This guy is the most chatty companion ever. He's worse than Barrett. And everyone else, just so chatty. Bounty hunter track ago. power pack. It's amazing this entire place hasn't collapsed by now. Expert lock. <sighs> Out of Digipix. Digipix! Finally. Can't believe this is where the fleet started. It's history, Shut man. Shut up, Mathis. Blows me mind. You're just repeating yourself over and over again. Okay, uh, well, at least I've got one digipick so I can open that advan that expert lock door. But I've only got one, so let's quick save. Right. So if we use that there, it overlaps with that. Gosh. Okay, but that's just for the middle one. And so we need something that goes like this. Okay, so that's the middle sorted. But that also is only for the middle. So I want to use these two in conjunction, but I can't. I've got an auto slot. Well, we've only got one. I don't need to waste it on this one because we've got um, one option. Uh, wow, we've only got two, so we have to use these here. All right, so if I can figure out the bottom, So that goes there. I'm going to use an auto slot. Oh, crap. It means I got to use this for this. But it's okay, I've got two. If I use that there, and I can use that there. 
If we get out of here, remind me to thank Delgado for hanging us out to dry. Pointing. Lots of bounty hunter gear. None of it is legendary. Look at this dump. <laughs> I can't imagine being stuffed down here to rot. Poor bastard. Finding legendary armor is actually pretty tricky in this game. So far, the only legendary armor that I've found has been related to a quest. All right, we explored that. We explored all of that. We need to go up there. Let's finish exploring over here. While we're picking through the trash, we might as well grab some good stuff for ourselves. He's trying my patience just so much. Ah, that's two novice locks. That we're leaving behind. It's like he's on a 15 second timer. He says something every 15 seconds. They should put him on like a five minute timer, at least. Okay, let's do a hard save here because we are going into the warden's office without any digipix. like this was the warden's office. They built the office right next to the shuttle bay for quick escapes, I bet. <laughs> Smart. Do you have any idea how long I've been waiting? Use the intercom. We need to talk. Ah! Uh, advanced! I was about to give up. Pick up on the intercom. I'm about to take damage here. Yeah. took you so long. Stopped beeping. Look out the window. I'm over here. Where have you been? Use the warden's intercom near the window. Master locked? Come on, you're giving me all these locked. Hey, warden's Finally, log evidence. Warden Tom Gillespie. Authorization 12210. This is likely to be my final log recording. The riots that started in D block have spilled into A, B, and C blocks. I've ordered everyone to fall back to the shuttle bay for evacuation. It was prisoner D03118, Jasper Crix, who led the revolt. His crew tunneled into the armory undetected, and then all hell broke loose. If the lock is recovered, I urge the UC authorities to perform a full investigation. As Criggs undoubtedly had help from the guards and the staff. I'm now heading to my personal escape shuttle and... We'll try to jump out of the system. Wish me luck. Warden Gillespie, out. <laughs> so he got out because he had a personal escape shuttle. And we know why Criggs got help because... All the staff stationed here was miserable. They were all off. freezing. There was Look no out heat. The I'm over here. Okay, I might have to do something drastic if I'm gonna get into this room. Finally, I was about to Because give up. they're not giving me a digipick. Finally, I was about to give up. Pick up on the intercom. Took long enough. Use the warden's intercom near the window. Que carajos tú right. Use the intercom. We need to talk. Okay, so um, I'm gonna load a quick save because I want to see what's solo. in this room. Pick up on the intercom. In this master locked room, and I'm out of digipix. Finally, 
I was about to give up. Quit screwing around. And the one I wasted on this room was worthless because there wasn't anything in it that I was interested in. You hear that? Nah, never mind. This place is starting to get to me. Okay. The things I do to make money. I must be crazy. Crix's legacy, yeah, right. Bunch of campfire tales to keep us in line. That's what they are. Yeah, let's this get the evidence. Warden, warden Tom Gillespie. Authorization 122210. Two, likely to be my <laughs> final log recording. Where have you been? The riots that started in D block have spilled into A, B, and C blocks. I've ordered everyone to fall back to the shuttle bay for evacuation. Use the intercom. It was prisoner D03118, Jasper Cricks, who led the revolt. His crew tunneled into the armory undetected, and then all hell broke loose. If the lock is recovered, I urge the UC authorities to perform a full investigation, as Griggs undoubtedly had help from the guards and the staff. I'm now heading to my personal escape shuttle, and we'll try to jump out of the system. Wish me luck. Warden Gillespie, out. Do you have any idea how long I have been waiting? Quit screwing around and pick up. Just can't deal with so many people talking to me at once. Right, I've got two auto slots. I'm gonna use them. Okay, so I could put that there. And I I actually can't put that there, so this one is a perfect fit. I could put that there. No, I can't. I need to save that for the bottom, and then that's the bottom sorted. So then we could use this there. Warden's private room. Space Rogue Muscle Gear. Plus five carry capacity. <laughs> I mean, I could use that. Count of Monte Cristo. Credits. Space helmet. Hey, look at that. Mirrored advanced deep mining space helmet. About time. Finally, I get a legendary helmet. And is it any good? No, it's worse. Two points worse physical. Um, a lot. It's almost 10 points worse energy. 12 points worse EM. But plus 20 to airborne, plus 25 to radiation, plus 10 to corrosive. Minus 10 to thermal. The mass goes down by a lot. It's got the anti-ballistic negative... 15 incoming damage from ranged weapons, lead lined plus 25 radiation resistance, and mirrored 4% chance to reflect attacks. But I move I lose out on incendiary analyzer and beast hunter. I mean those I don't need two of those. But uh, the stats just go down.
The anti-ballistic, though, is negative 15%. Is that going to be enough to make up for the negative 10 in energy that I get and the negative 12 in EM that I get? I'll try it. Look out the window. I'm over here. Oh, man. Warden Galepsi's workstation. From Warden Galepsi to the station relay slash RNZ Bullenkov's UC security regarding equipment requests. The latest supply ship has just departed, and I'm livid. I simply don't understand how you expect me to run this prison without the proper equipment. The heating system is inadequate, the water filtration units are constantly malfunctioning, and we have insufficient automated security to bolster our overtaxed guards. I have no idea why my repeated requests are being denied. I'm not running an adventure camp here, RNZ. People are dying. Please let me know when you'll be filling my requests, or you can find yourself someone else to run this place. From uh, Station Relay RNZ Bolonikov to Warden Galepsi, Jasper Crick's Criminal History. As requested, here's the criminal history for Jasper Cricks. His transfer just got approved, which means they're gift wrapping him for you as I send this to the comms relay. This guy is extremely dangerous, Tom. Be careful. Crimes listed in order of severity and linked to the UC file numbers. Burglary, minor degree, 26 counts. Criminal interference with United Colonies property, 18 counts. Theft, minor degree, 33 counts. Burglary, major degree, 17 counts. Theft, major degree, 42 counts. Arson, major degree, 8 counts. Indecent exposure, 1 count. <laughs> Jeez, this guy, what has he not done? Destruction of property, non-vessel, 16 counts. Destruction of property, vessel, 62 counts. Aggravated assault, unarmed, 36 counts. Aggravated assault, armed, 46 counts. Aggravated assault against a security officer, 19 counts. Attempted murder, 18 counts. Murder, second degree, 93 counts. Murder, first degree, 24 counts. So that's just what they know of. From Warden Galepsi to RNZ, regarding seismic anomalies. I'm getting concerned that something unusual is happening at the lock. Seismic sensors have been picking up anomalies for the last week or so, and we can't identify the cause. I've sent the readings to our engineer, and she insists that the anomalies are man-made, not planetary in origin. I've had the staff tear the place apart from one end to the other, and I can't find the cause. I'm hoping it's simply faulty machinery, but something could be going on with the prison population. I've instituted surprise cell inspections and daily prisoner head count checks, but everything seems normal. I'll keep you informed. The seismic activity must be uh, Cricks and crew trying to dig the tunnel to get out. And this is frustrating because, you know, we were laughing earlier about him having a private uh, escape shuttle, but he really gave the UC every opportunity. He asked for the appropriate gear so that he could warm people, but he was denied. He let them know that there was unusual activity going on, and they completely ignored him. I mean, this prison break seems like evidence of UC incompetence at the time. From the warden to RNZ regarding prisoner remains discovered. Things are getting stranger and stranger down here, Ar Ar Arzani. Bits of bone have been discovered in the facility's incineration unit. According to the physician, physician, the fragments belonged to two individuals. They were both killed by use of sharp serrated objects. The prisoners in question were from D-Block and have no known relationship or relation or accomplices. 
I have about a hundred suspects in D-Block, so narrowing down what happened is going to be a challenge. This incident and the seismic anomalies are leading me to believe something big is going to happen at the lock. I'd like to request an additional company of security to be dispatched here immediately. Two messages let letting them know something was happening and the UC just ignored him. Do you have any idea how long I have been waiting? Use the intercom. We need to talk. Right, 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 right. Quick save. Where have you been? Quit. I hope you found something because I am getting sick and tired of this place. Where are you right now? I don't know. Looks like some kind of a security office or something. It doesn't matter. Did you find anything or not? Where's everyone else? I'm the only one left. Damn creatures finished off the rest of my people. But finding the legacy, that is going to make their sacrifice worthwhile. Oh, wow. So Matthias wasn't half wrong. They did finish off the monsters, did finish off most of his guys. We could say, I found information about Crix's legacy. No thanks to Mathis, who barely lifted a finger to help. Or we could say, thanks to Mathis's help, we found some information about Crix's legacy. Well, he didn't help all that much, but you know what? As annoying as he was, um, he was useful in a firefight. So we'll go ahead and ingratiate Mathis to Delgado. I knew it! Everyone said I was out of my mind! But something told me we'd find the answers down here. Looks like I picked the right people for the job. Yup, that's right. It was a team effort all the way. We had each other's backs the whole time, Del. Is that Mathis? <laughs> Tell him to shut up so I can think. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry, Del. You go right ahead. <sighs> okay. Now all we have to do is find a way off of this planet. Um, let me see. Ah, uh, here we go. I'm looking at schematics for the lock, and I don't think there's a way to get you back to the surface from there. But I can open the outer doors to the shuttle bay and let you fly one of the shuttles down there directly up to the key. What about my ship? Don't worry about your ship. I will send some people down to get it. You just get your ass on that shuttle and get out of here. If Mathis and I take the, su the shuttle, how are you getting back? According to the schematics, there is an emergency evacuation exit I can use to return to the surface. Then it's just a quick run across the ice to my ship, and I'll probably still beat you to the key. I wanna... I wanna start, uh, I wanna finish searching the lock before I leave. <clears throat> I think we've been pretty, um... Uh, thorough, so I don't think I need to go back. I'd rather meet up so we can leave at the same time, or you got it, boss. Hmm. If we wanted to kill Delgado, we would say I'd rather meet up so we can all leave at the same time. Hmm. Is Delgado trying to betray us? Let's just do what he says. Let's see what happens. Good answer. You're learning fast. Okay. Let me see. One of these probably opens the door. Shuttle bay activated. Initiating the icing process. Please stand by. Yup. That's got it. Might take a while, though. Those bay doors have not been opened in almost a century. You have done a hell of a job, Rook. We will talk when you get back to the key. Okay, we have successfully ingratiated ourselves with Delgado. Baby steps. All right, Mathis. Hey, um, look, I, um, well, I wanted to thank you for not being a jerk and hounding all the glory on this run. That's right. We could say you're just worried I'm going to tell Delgado about your quote-unquote plan. You were the extra gun that got me through this place alive, or don't worry about it. Let's just say eh, he was the extra gun that got us through this place alive. That's true. Well, 
Thanks all the same. Look, um, about all that killing Delgado stuff, why don't we just forget about everything that I said? You know, like it never happened. <laughs> we could say I'll think about it. Already forgotten or fine, but you're gonna owe me a huge favor. I don't mind saying that. Yeah, yeah, of course. Don't worry, I'm good for it. Now, <laughs> let's get the heck out of here. How about you give me that cool gun? You know the gun that you looted while I was busy looting? I mean, I'd like that. The, the gun that you got on your back, that's what I want. Oh, I can't believe I missed out on that. Okay. They're all gonna spawn as soon as I get down here, aren't they? Are we ever gonna get that gun? I, I really hope we can get that gun. Maybe if we end up killing him later, we can get it. I know it! We got through it. Now Mathis knows all about our superpower. I wonder, I wonder what he, like, we do have the, the artifact power. That's something that they haven't really mentioned. The uh, the Crimson Fleet here, they haven't mentioned it. It's, it's something you'd think that would surprise them and they would think would be an asset. But they haven't mentioned it. He's just talking about, he said, uh, you can't help but showing off is what Mathis said. Where he sh his response should be like, what the heck? What is that? You've got a superpower? When did that happen? Okay, well, there's the emergency escape shuttle. Let's finish looting this place. How is it snowing in here? It's... Are we outside? I guess we must be outside. Oh, do I waste it? No, I've got, I've got one digi pick left. I'm not gonna waste it on a novice lock. At this point, I should just save my digipicks and only use them on master and expert locks. Okay, so this is the ship. Do we get to keep the ship? Probably not. All right, let's just get inside. Also novice locked.
You see prison shuttle. Wow. I think I might get to keep this. Prognosis improved. I'm probably gonna take. I have to take a lot of medication. All right, where? How do, where's the cockpit? Ah. Omega Volwin says you got Mathis's gun already. Yes, you get to keep the ship. Yeah, I get to keep the ship. Wait, I have his gun. I have Mathis's gun already? I don't even know what it was. I've got the Mag Storm. I've got the Mag Shear. Furious Mag Storm? It must be this. Art Pixel says, uh, Matthias's gun is the Magstorm. You already have it. Oh. So it must have been this one, the Berserker Modified Magstorm. Because now I'm I'm, carry, I'm carrying two Magstorms and a Mag Shear, and I only had one Magstorm previously. Cool. Okay. already on board my new ship? Nobody hails the key. Just do your business. <laughs> Docking site incomplete. I have had enough dealings with the Crimson Fleet to know that we should both be very, very aware of our surroundings right now. You're back, Andrea. Hey, when this is all over, maybe we can talk about future business opportunities, yeah? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sounds good, Mathis. Okay, where's the ship technician? I need to... I need to get my, other, my old ship back. I mean, as cool as that... Uh, Escape shuttle is. I don't think I want it to be my primary ship. You mean to see anyone right now? The patience, I mean. I got a sore hit. <sighs> Long day. Here to upgrade that ship of yours? Talk to Samina about getting me some harder meds. No, but just remember. I don't work for free. I bet you would. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's take a look. Okay, so there it is. The UC prison ship. That's uh, interesting. It's interesting. Let's go to... Back to the Star Eagle, and we'll make this a home ship. Rook. 
Note to self, buy digi picks, says Brad. Thank you, Brad, I will. Now, do I need to reassign my crew? Because I don't think the, um, the escape shuttle had a big enough crew. So let's go to crew. Unassigned, yeah, Amelia Earhart is no longer assigned. But I don't need her because uh, she's only got piloting. So we've got, she's my companion. Heller, Outpost Engineering, Jessamine Griffith? When did I get her? Oh, I got her at the bar. Yeah, she's on the key. She's got ballistic weapons too. Let's assign her to the Star Eagle. Let's assign Sarah to the Star Eagle. Let's assign Particle beam systems. Payloads. This is Simon Sam. Uh, huh. I guess it's full. Okay, full crew. I hope, I hope you do not have any loose creds. To Just to make it quick. I fully ex... Oh, ma'am. She doesn't sell digipics. But you would find them missing when we leave here. They're done here? Great. Kinetics, weapons, electromags, general, energy weapons, nothing to gear. substitute and now, for a shotgun blast to the I'll only the best protective gear you can find. Yeah. Plenty of digi Stay things. safe out there. Neuro amps, she's not gonna have any. I like my weapons like I like my coffee. Scalding. Okay. Those mission boards Bunks. aren't going to clear themselves. Where's the elevators? I think the elevators were over here. Last week who smiled at me funny, I sewed his mouth shut. Now he laughs the same way he eats. Pieces. I always thought heat leeches were just pests. All oh, right. Are you looking to start something? Because I'll finish it. Okay, let's do a hard save here. There you are. The hell took you so long? It's about time. I was about to fly down and loot your bodies. Not now, neighbor. Well, you said you found something. Hand it over. <clears throat> Where's my payment first? Would a thank you be so difficult? Or we can give the slate and say, here you go. That's it? Just one slate? After losing so much of our crew, it better be a map with a big red X on it. Well, I'll be damned. Legacy wasn't referring to Crix's fortune. It's the name of an actual ship. A gal bank transport probably loaded with credits. Never heard any stories about a gal bank ship going down. And even if it had happened, it would have been picked clean years ago. No, neighbor. Think. If gal bank covered it up, and over time, the location was eventually forgotten, it wouldn't be on anyone's radar. Okay, this changes things. Now that we know what we are looking for, 
We have to narrow the search. How do we know someone else hasn't already found the legacy? Because they would be rolling in so much cash, there is no way they could keep it quiet. It's like hitting a jackpot. Not to mention they'd need someone with Shinya skills to keep the crypto tracing on the currency clean. And as far as Galbank goes, I doubt they would bother. Their bean counters would be too busy weighing the loss versus recovery costs. Now, the legacy is out there, just waiting for us to find. I can feel it. It's like a good old fashioned treasure hunt. I love this. If only they weren't awful pirates. <laughs> Uh, we could say, I wish Crix hadn't been so cryptic about everything, but him being cryptic is what kept it a secret for so long. <clears throat> we could say we don't have much to go on, true, but let's not be pessimistic because he's clearly optimistic. So we'll say the legacy is real after all. And the recording that you found proves that it is out there. All we have to do is find it. Let us start with what we know. It was a Galbag ship, which means the company is going to have records of where it went down. Neva, weren't you working on a deal with Rokov? Something about a big wig charity event on one of Trident's Starliners? Are you serious? I've been working on that gig for three months. That's my score. Ay, Dios mío. Will you shut up about your score and think for a second? <laughs> that Starliner has a Galbank VIP suite aboard. Which means... Come on, Neva. This isn't hard. Which means a Gal Bank exec will be aboard. We grab their credentials and get ourselves into the Gal Bank archives in New Atlantis. Holy shit, that might actually work. I'll send a message to Rokov right away. Pack your bags, Rook. You're going on vacation. And since you've earned it, take this gun with you. Might come in handy when Rokov screws everything up as usual. Hey, I got a legendary keel hauler, a legendary pistol. All right. What's in the Galbank archives? It's not what you're thinking. It's more of an office than a bank vault. Once you're inside, you'll be able to gain access to one of their computers and find out more about the legacy. Who's Rokov? Rokov is... <laughs> well, he's Rokov. A real pain in the ass. He used to run with the fleet until we kicked him out. Lately, you kicked him he out? has been using his long hauling skills to captain a Starliner for Trident. Gives us a contact within the company. He has been trying to get his foot back in the door with us for years. But I'm not ready to let him in just yet. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. Wow, what do you have to do to get kicked out of the Crimson Fleet? And still be alive? <laughs> Yikes. All right, we could say, so, I'm running errands for you now, or I'm not sure I'm the right person for the job, or always wanted to take a deep space cruise. Good, because that is exactly what you are going to be doing. Neva and I are too well known to walk around the Starliner without being recognized. If Trident Security spotted us, it'd be over. I need you to board that ship, make contact with Rokov, and get me those credentials. All you need are the Galbank credentials? <laughs> I see what you are getting at, Rook. And don't worry, I would ask the same thing. Just be sure to get those credentials. Anything else of value you find on Rokov Starliner is all yours. How do you expect me to leave things with Rokov? You know what? I'm going to leave that entirely up to you. If you think he's come through for us, you can promise him he'll get paid. But if he gets in your way, then you take him out. I'll get it done. You'd better. Oh, before you leave, I wanted you to know that I took what you said about Mathis into consideration, and I've decided to let him join the fleet. Why are you letting Mathis's future hinge on my opinion? Because you're the one that finished the job. You followed orders, and you put your neck on the block to get that data to the key. As far as Mathis goes, I'm sure you had to drag him through the lock and prevent him from doing something as stupid. Okay, well now I'm worried. I mean, what if Mathis joins the fleet and then we end up betraying the fleet later and we get Mathis killed? I'm sure we'll have an opportunity to spare Mathis later 
if we need to. Now, not that we need to, because he was about to murder Delgado, so maybe he needs to die too. Right, fine. I think you've made the right decision. We'll see. That's it then. Next stop for you is Rock of Starliner, the Siren of the Stars. And remember, Rokov does not need to know anything about Griggs's legacy. For now, it's just between us. Now get out of here. Hey, Rook, before you head out, I need to have a word with you. Meet me at the last Nova after you wrap things up with Mathis. Okay, will do. And I'm encumbered because I just got a really heavy weapon. <clears throat> uh, Technicolor Tube says, Oxhorn, this Starliner has the book Race to the Heavens which gives the location for Dubai on Earth. Okay, that's great. Thank you for letting me know. All right, she wants to meet us at the bar. Let's take a look at this brand new gun that we just got. New items, the keel hauler. Oh, it's got a custom paint scheme and everything. Staggering, small chance to stagger enemies. Berserker does more damage the less armor one has on. And frenzy, small chance to frenzy a target. Legendary pistol, 702 rounds in my inventory. Magnetic rails, recon laser sight, compensator, tactical magazine, hair trigger, and fully automatic. A fire rate of 109. Nice. I think I want to play with this. Oh, and I've got so much junk to get rid of. I need to do some weapon modifying, but I don't think I have the perks for it yet. Uh, let's go to... Let's see, we've got three skill points to spend. I can't put them into modifying my weapon unless I, mod unless I make 30 modifications. Which is just, this is what I want to do. I'm on rank, rank three of four. I gotta make 30 weapon mods before I can get up to master level weapon modifications. station on the key until the heat dies down. Then it's back to raiding and pillaging. Need something? God. Oh, I needed to go downstairs anyway. Okay, we're going to the pub. your business up with Mathis, then we'll talk. Hey, um, I wanted to thank you one last time for not ratting me out to Delgado and telling him how much I pitched in. That was pretty damn cool. If he would have found out what I was planning, well, I don't even want to think about what could have happened. Are you still planning you to do? take him out? We can verbally say inside a bar filled with crimson raiders. What? No, you gotta be crazy. All I'm gonna do is lay low for a while, pick up a few jobs from Voss, and maybe get drunk. <laughs> I still don't like you, Mathis. Or don't worry about it, or just remember that you owe me a favor. Oh yeah, sure. Anything you need, you just ask. And I'll be there to back you up. For your sake, I hope you are sincere. You just, uh, you know, um, uh, take care of yourself out there. Will do. All right, neighbor. We may not have soft, official security on the key, but you're always looking up for a drink. Get you a drink? First. Well, let's have a look now. Let's see. Uh, let's go to sell. I need to get rid of something. I'm going to store one of those. 
Uh, I don't need this. Any weapons I can get rid of. <clears throat> Let's see. I've got two of these mag, mag storms now. Furious and Berserker. Uh, the Berserker sells for more. The Furious sells for less. Neither of them have very good modifications on them. No, this one does. It's got the depleted uranium rounds modification. But this one has the Furious legendary effect, which I think is going to be better in terms of legendary effects. And I can always add more modif modifications to it later. Our pixel says, wait, mod them first. Why? Oh, yeah, the vendor doesn't have enough credits. Yeah, you're right. He doesn't. Crap. I'm carrying way too many weapons. I need to go back and put these on my ship or something. But the ship is full as well, so I need to go back to my safe. We'll see you next time, man. Don't challenge Bob to five finger filet. I heard Ray was in a monastery, and the rook had to dress up as a monk to find him. There you are. All right, look. Some kind of I've been lining up a score with that asshole roll call from the Siren of the Stars for months. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're gonna finish the job for me. No, thank you. You sure know how to make things awkward. This silence is really pissing me off. Sorry about that, some phone calls I just have to take. Anyway, we were saying, why would it slip through your fingers, we can ask? My score involves a one-time event being held aboard the Siren of the Stars. If anyone finds out the Crimson Fleet's aboard that Starliner, the event will be canceled and I can kiss my payday goodbye. There's no way I'm gonna miss this window of opportunity. Um. Hey, as long as I get my cut. Of course you'll get a cut. That's how everything works around here. Why would this be any different? Rokov's been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event, they're gonna give away something called the Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's simple. While you're on the Siren, swiping those Gal Bank credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. How is an award worth so much money? 
From the pictures I've seen, the award is set with 12 blue diamonds and covered in gold filigree. If I get Jazz to take it apart, I can turn it into a hell of a lot of cash. And best of all, the components become untraceable. Does the Gal Bank executive I'm looking for have anything to do with the award? No. Dombrowski's only aboard to use the Gal Bank VIP suite, so he can catch a free ride at the company's expense. I'm sure he'll be there partying with the other spoiled brats. I can guarantee he doesn't give a crap about what's going on at the event. We could say no one likes a cheater, Neva. You need to win that trophy fair and square. <laughs> As if we forget who we're talking to. Or we could say I prefer to remain focused on Crix's legacy. Or we could say I don't like taking unnecessary risks. Wow, no option to just say sure, I'll do it. Okay, um... That's so weird. I mean, sh we should have an option to just go along with it. Uh, but we'll say, I'd prefer to remain focused on Crix's legacy. And I'd prefer to have the money that award's worth in my account. So you're just gonna have to deal with it. Look, you can make all the jokes and excuses you want. But if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm gonna deduct it from your pay. Either way, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? I suppose it is up to you to decide whether it is worth it. ES award, we can ask? Yeah, ES, Earth, Savior. Get it? Come on. Keep up with me here. I got about 17 other things to do and you're holding me up. Isn't Rokov going to expect a cut? All Rokov does is feed me information. If I ask him to lift a finger, he gives me enough sob stories to fill a freighter's cargo bay. If you want my advice, leave him completely out of the loop. Otherwise, it's gonna cost both of us some credits. Three options. Maybe I'll just take the pay cut and save myself the trouble. We'll see what Delgado says about that threat, or I'll get you the damn trophy. At this point, I'm just concerned with what Andresia will say. Just because we say we're gonna get it doesn't mean we are. So by choosing this option, is she, are we going to lose affinity with her? Let's see. Then it's settled. Good. All right, Rook, no. we're done here. Now, get your ass to the siren and bring me my goods. Okay, well. Hit me up if you got questions. Yeah. We need to fill the UC in on what's been going down. We've got a lot to cover. I do not care what assurances you have been given that we are safe here. I do not trust the Crimson Fleet. You know why we're here, Andresia. Every time I see Radley smile, I want to punch him in the face. Gontro Dim says, time to do some inventory cleaning and selling. Yes, In the fleet, right. you either put up, shut up, or die. First things first, I'm gonna go turn in the evidence that I have, and then we'll do some inventory management. Nice, clean set there. are faring here over on the Vigilance. We 
have a clean dock, right on the money. This stuff marines are the best of the best. Word is the fleet has you chasing ghosts on Suvorov. If there's one thing spookier than a pirate. Ghosts on Suvorov, eh? That sounds interesting. All right, I've got quite the update. Yo, back. So how did he go? <laughs> he says that as if he's not, he's surprised. Why are you so surprised to see me? Frankly, it's because we've never gotten this far before. The last agent I sent to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet ended up in a morgue on New Atlantis. Deuteronomy says you were just on Suvorov. That was the ice prison planet. Yes, but why, were the, why was that guy talking about ghosts? I thought you've been... Oh, because of... Um, because of the, all of the dead prisoners, I guess? I thought you've been monitoring me. Even with our best intelligence equipment... We can monitor very little from the Vigilance. We can pick up local communications chatter and use long-range scans to see where you travel. But when you're on the ground, you're on your own. If we get too close, we not only expose ourselves to an attack, but we might blow your cover, and that could get everyone killed. JB says, I, I answer Google surveys and give Ox the money, lol. Well, JB... Thank you. Thank you. You're saving me from doing the Google surveys myself. We could say, I'm through with this charade. I want out. Or I've successfully infiltrated the Crimson Fleet, but I'm having second thoughts. Or I've successfully infiltrated the Crimson Fleet. I'm confident this plan is going to work. Then things are moving forward. Perfect. Nice job, Rook. I was certain we'd fool Delgado, but never. She's a sharp one. Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? How did you know you'd be able to fool Delgado? If the intelligence I've read is accurate, Delgado is a charismatic leader, but a bit short on judgment. That's why you want to stay on his good side and stay away from Neva. She's shrewd, and she sniffed out everything we've thrown her way. Are you sure it's safe if I pass you this information? I understand your concern, but you can rest assured that every member of this crew has been thoroughly vetted by both myself and Lieutenant Toft. Any information that you turn over will not be leaving this ship until it's fully encrypted and encoded. I give you my word. Okay, then we can say Delgado was searching for a Gal Bank ship named Legacy that was carrying some type of lost fortune. Legacy. Why does that sound familiar? Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? I have never heard of such a thing. I'm surprised. I thought this was one of those tales that made it to every corner of the settled systems. I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. We could say, trust me, I've already been through all of this with Delgado, or story or not, Delgado believes it's real, or I believe it's real. We'll go, story or not, Delgado believes it's real. Well, let's find out if Delgado is chasing ghosts, or he's smarter than we suspect. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a gal bank transport named the legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because Galbank is hiding something. Delgado's no fool. If he risked his own neck to get that information, then he must be on to something. We have to take this seriously. What's your next move? How did you know Delgado was with us at the lock? That one's simple. We monitored your ships heading down to the surface of Suvorov. In fact, when he returned to the key and you didn't immediately follow, well... We almost thought our operation was terminated. Why do you think Gal Bank is hiding something? 
Can you imagine the amount of embarrassment Galbank would have to endure if they listed a lost transport in the ship registry? Doesn't matter if that ship went down five or five hundred years ago. If news gets out that a bank has misplaced money, it would tank their value. I'm supposed. We could say I'm supposed to board a Starliner to steal Galbank archive credentials. Clever, Delgado. Very clever. If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. We can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No. Let's allow this to run its course. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Crix was clever. For some reason, he never got there. How do you know Jasper Crix never found the legacy? Because the Crimson Fleet would be a totally different adversary, and Crix wouldn't have disappeared years ago. Even if they hid the money with that damn human computer Shinya Voss, our forensic accounting people would have found that data. No, the Crimson Fleet are in dire shape right now. They haven't seen that much currency, well, ever. Shouldn't I put a stop to this by killing Delgado? And let Neva Mora take his place? Or Shinya Voss? Or any one of a number of pirates already gunning for his position? No. The solution is to stick to the undercover operation and determine how much of this is truly a credible threat. I'll proceed as planned, then. It's imperative that you do. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. You're both dismissed. Okay. Well, I've been doing good so far. All right, Lieutenant, I've got I've got evidence for you, Lieutenant. Lieutenant. Pardon. Hey, Lieutenant. Lieutenant, stop. Hello. What can I do for you? I have evidence for you. Well done. Let's see what you found. I found this in the warden's office at the lock on Suvorov. I'll be damned. So some of the UC guards at the lock helped touch off the riots. Everyone thought he was some kind of legendary criminal mastermind, but even the great Jasper Cricks needed a helping hand to get out of prison. Any other fragments? Pick this up on the Lock Penitentiary on Suvorov. It's amazing that all this romantic nonsense about Crix's legacy really just amounts to a rumor Jasper Crix picked up in jail. It just goes to show you how a tiny rumor can snowball into a full-blown fairy tale. Have any more? That's all for now. Okay, fine, fine. I know there's more out there, so keep on it. Okay, um... That's it, we haven't unlocked any more dialogue from her. I'll be here if you have any more questions. Guess not. Well, we Excuse can, me. uh... <clears throat> Most can of our operations team graduated top of their class at the academy. See if they're holding any more criminals. Let's go to the brig. I don't know if there's anyone else they would have picked up. It's probably going to be at Sys the very Marines end. Marines are the best of the best. When they're going to have a brig full we of the piracy guys that all across the galaxy. Sir, if I may speak freely, is there a reason for the harsh reprimand? As far as I know, I just tracked a little mud into the brig. Soldier, have you ever heard of Trenchfoot? Can't say that I have, sir. Well, they say guards on Suvorov would sometimes trudge through cold, frost wet trenches on their daily patrols. Prolonged wetness led to circulation and nerve damage. AKA trench foot. Unable to perform, those guards were taken off duty and security suffered. All because they didn't take the time to properly dry their feet. You see where I'm going with this, don't you? <laughs> I do, but if I may, I would argue that we're not on some frozen planet, sir. But you tracked in mud from your last mission. 
you brought in any number of microbial life forms, known and unknown, into my brig. This These guy. are direct threats to the health and safety of this crew, and by extension, the security of this brig. On my brig, cleanliness is a duty, and I suggest you take this duty seriously. And if not, I will have the commander relieve you of it. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. She tracks in a little bit of mud and he goes on a lecture about trench foot. <laughs> of course he does. Yeah, I'm not seeing anyone new that we haven't already talked to. Jammin' Cohen says, put a skill point into weightlifting. With your looting habits, you'll be on to the second rate in no time. A a a rank in no time. Actually, I think I already did. Yeah, weightlifting. Yep. I could go on to the second rank now. There we go. everyone weren't there two people in here oh yeah there was a the guy over here right wow nice jump okay well it's the inventory management portion of the broadcast My cargo hold is full of weapons. I've got a mag pulse on here. It's an anti-personnel mag pulse. I'm going to compare it to the other ones that I've got. Mag pulse, mag storm, mag shear. Uh, okay. All right, so I've got this mag shear, which I want to sell. Three hundred fire rate. Uses the exact no. This is a different. Yeah, that uses fifty uh, six point five millimeter ammunition. That uses the same ammunition as the mag shear. That has a fire rate of 400. This has a fire rate of 300. But I'm getting low on rounds. Let's uh, store the mag shear. Store the mag pulse as it, it's my only one. That leaves me with these two mag storms. This has the berserker. This has the furious. I want to upgrade this so... Let's sell them the Berserker Magstorm. Tom says, buy Digipix and see if you can mod weapons before you sell. Um, yeah, yeah, good idea. Thank you, Tom. All right. Uh, these I brought with me. Now, Feather. Feather is a unique tombstone. Do I have another tombstone on my inventory? Pirate Legend. That's a unique as well. All right, let me try and store, store that. Power Beat, another unique. Because I bought those when I was on the ship. Same with Hunter Wolf. And Fury. Fury. 
Heal Hauler is the pistol I just got. Why am I carrying this? <clears throat> Calibrated cornered breach. I have another breach. I believe. Too many weapons, just way too many. <laughs> there it is, rapid shot. It's my unique breach. So I can sell the other one that I have. And I've got this one, Unrestrained Vengeance. Okay, so I can sell the cornered calibrated breach. It does way more damage though, uh, probably because it's calibrated. Let's go to <clears throat> uh, helmets and let's store the one that I'm not using. Let's store the suits that I'm not using. That poncho. Alt Grendel gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you, Alt Grendel, and congratulations to G Dept, Shy Guy, Jeff Zuniga, Mr. Bear, and Bubba Trashcan. Let's store as many resources as I can. and as much aid as I can. Oh wait, those are zero. There we go. Right, so I've got the weapons I want to sell. Let's go back to uh, the lodge and use the workbenches there. Clamps released. Jemison and the Lodge. Let's burn through some of our resources to remove the, uh, to remove what I'm carrying. To reduce the amount of resources that I have. So I've got I may not room quite for more. enjoy New Atlantis, but this, <laughs> this is much better. Okay, weapon workbench.
Now I wanted to upgrade uh, Keel Hauler. We could, uh, it's currently got magnetic rails and I won't be able to get that back. So let's go to Got a tactical magazine. Well, let's do something where I know I'll be able to. Um, all right, I'm gonna go through sealant and iron. Art Pixel says, if you need resources for mods, vendors have some. Thank you, Art Pixel. go back. It's just going to be doing this over and over again. No mod. Recon laser sight. Oh, and I can't do the laser sight because I need optics and so I can't go back to that. Let's go laser sight. No, I'm out of neon. Whoops. So I just destroyed that. Oh, God. Stealth lasers. I need that. Whoops. I really shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. we go. I can put a hair trigger in here. The stock versions are never quite what you want, are they? Iron sights, medium scope, recon scope. I need optic and laser mods three, reflex sight. All right, so... I could go to medium scope. Let me see if I can do any further upgrading here. I thought I put... Huh. Grip and stock. I still need more titanium. But I've got the adhesive. There you go, optic and laser mods three. Muzzle mods, can't do that. Magazine and battery, okay. Magazine and battery mods three. Okay, magazine and battery mods three, internal mods two. Need more titanium. Need more lubricant, so let's tag that. Need more ubiturum. All right, we've got titanium tagged. Let's go to equipment. I still can't do any of this. Because I need spacesuit design rank one. High velocity requires titanium. I already upgraded to magazine and, or I already upgraded the, okay, it's currently got depleted uranium and I need mag magazine and battery mods too for that. I could switch to armor piercing. But I'm out of adhesive.
Jar Spencer. With a sticker tip. Thank you so much, Jar Spencer. That's going to blow through my sealant. I need titanium for that, and I need polymer for that. Adhesive for that. Polymer and adhesive. God. Large magazine, small magazine, standard magazine, tactical magazine, armor piercing. So if I lose this, I won't be able to get it back. And I'm out of adhesive and titanium, so I can't do any of these. Looks like I need to stick to, to modifying barrel mods. We can go back to Lung Barrel for that. Still need Neon. Here we go, Compensator. Or Suppressor. No, I can't do that yet. Okay, we're currently on standard shells. We could do tactical magazine. Can't do Tesla, we need adhesive. Need polymer, adhesive, adhesive, polymer. So I'll do tactical magazine. And I need adhesive for all of these. Man, I'm so bummed that I left all that adhesive behind because I couldn't carry it. Need titanium. All right. Let's try feather. We've already got the long barrel. That could uh, blow through that. I'll lose that. Short scope. Iron sights. Nope, I'll lose that on the adhesive as well. White hot rounds. From large magazine to white hot rounds. Chemically tip rounds that burn on contact. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we could move from standard to depleted uranium. Let's try that. I hope that modification proves beneficial. Okay. We've already got the long barrel, which we like. I don't have the neon for that. Don't have the adhesive for that. Already have a suppressor. Okay, we've got a standard magazine. We could go tactical or white hot. Tactical, um... Increases aim down sight speed and reload speed. I like the chemical rounds. Well, I should probably track solvent so I can get more of that. Let's see, internal, I don't have the materials for that. Binary trigger, I need Ubertum for that. Okay, back to the keel hauler. I like the magnetic rails. I won't be able to get that back if I switch it out. It already has a compensator. Okay, we could switch from tactical. Lighter mag that vastly increases aim down spike and uh, sight and reload to depleted geranium. They penetrate any armor. Hey, 12 of 15 research methods. Great. Gaining, gaining something here. Internal, I've already got the hair trigger. And hold on a second. It's already on fully automatic. And I don't have the titanium to do that. 
Okay, let's go to the mag shear. Barrel, standard barrel. Let's go to long barrel. Let's give it a compensator. Let's go to depleted uranium. Hey! All right, research methods done. So if we just completed research methods, um, sudden developments during research are twice as common. Resource requirements to craft items and complete research projects reduced by 60%. Yeah, we should probably do it. That leaves me one point for weapons, which I want to save. Okay, so I'm saving one point for this. I'm 15 of 30. I'm halfway there. Let's see, what were we, we were working on the modified mag shear. We just gave it a depleted uranium mods. Let's give it, uh, well, we can't afford any of that. So let's move on to the advanced shoddy. Already gave it a lung barrel, laser sight, reflex sight, suppressor. Try the grip. Nope, don't have the titanium for that. Uh, don't have the titanium or the adhesive for that. We already up upgraded it to slug shots. We could switch from slug shots to large magazine, but I think I really like the slug shots. Extended magazine. No, we're good with that. Standard drip without a stock. Stabilizing. Ah, we need polymer and adhesive for that. Okay, we've got ignition beams. I won't be able to get that back until I keep upgrading, so I'm gonna keep that. All right, that leaves the shattered shock. Okay, I've done all of the upgrading I want to. So let's just uh, do more upgrades until we can get... Let's go from long barrel to standard barrel. 16. 17. 18. 19. 20. 21. 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Let's spend that last point into weapon engineering. You can research and craft master level weapon mods. At last! Now the only thing holding me back is weapon research. We've done almost everything. We've fully done barrel mods. We've fully done optics mods. We just need to finish grip and stock mods, muzzle mods, and magazine and battery mods, internal mods, and receiver mods. Okay, so there's quite a bit that we have left to do. But, uh, gosh, I should have waited to do this until I got... Well, I needed to do that in order to upgrade research. So let's make sure we're tracking everything we need. Lubricant, ubertum, titanium... We can't add anything into this because we need special projects rank one. Special projects? That counts as a special project? 
What? What are special projects? Yikes! I need to spend two more points on the science to unlock special projects. Big guns are great, but in the settled system, sometimes the best weapon is simply the old, an old adage, knowledge is power. Okay. Jam and Cohen says, if you wanted to cheese it, you could go back and forth between two inexpensive mods on a single weapon in order to fulfill the requirement. I mean, isn't that what I just did? I just did barrel mods. I also wanted to get through a lot of the resources that I had that was um, filling up my inventory. So I didn't waste rare stuff, and I went through a really easy one to, to upgrade uh, the weapons that I needed. Okay. Uh, looks like I need to use a health something. I'm currently... No, I'm okay. I just need to eat something. That really doesn't help much. All right, then we can sell the stuff we don't need. Hitomi says, uh, side note, Oxhorn, when you do crafting, the game pulls resources in the following priority. Your ship's cargo hold, any outpost cargo containers you have, and then your inventory. Thank you for that one, Hitomi. Okay, so let's go to the, sh the ship and then um, go to the ship services merchant. <laughs> Any adventure you can fly away from. Is, is that how the saying goes? anything you need to offload to sell all right now I wanted to sell one of my mag storms uh, I wanted to keep the furious and sell the berserker I just upgraded it to a hair trigger as well but let's sell it oh, he doesn't have enough oh, god he doesn't have enough credits okay what else can I sell what else did I want to sell I wanted to sell no, I wanted to store the feather. Actually, I kind of wanted to keep it with me. I wanted to sell this one. No. I've got the mag storm. Why do I have this equipped? I wanted to sell one of the breaches. Yeah, I think I wanted to sell the modified Max Shear as well. But he has the, he has enough credits for that, so we'll go ahead and sell it. Trade authorities always buy. He has right here. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Then I guess we'll go to the merchants in the well.
How are you? Trying to remember where all the merchants were. There's the Trade Authority. House of the Enlightened. Kay's House. Security Office. You see Surplus. Oh, hello. I don't think I've been here. <laughs> you ask me? The real new Atlantis is down here. All that stuff topside. It's kind of sick. Personally, I think daylight's overrated. I get by just fine. Does the UC have a lot of surplus? Look around. You tell me. UC is a big organization. A lot of planets, a lot of people, a whole lot to keep track of. Sometimes they don't do such a good job of that. Sometimes stuff falls through the cracks, winds up collecting dust in some warehouse. But that's all right, because I, and by extension you, get to benefit. I make great deals on stuff in bulk, you get some low prices. Everyone wins. How do you like living in the well? A lot of people will tell you it's the worst. One step above being homeless. They'll whine about how folks topside have it so much better. Me? I like it. It's more real down here. Topside, everyone's trying to show how civilized and rich they are. Oh, it's exhausting. But, hey, to each their own. Let's see what you got. Absolutely. He's only got 2,000 credits to barter with. That's not enough to sell the gun that I wanted to. You need something else, I'll be here. Let's try the trade authority. Your file says you have a military background. Well, don't embarrass your old outfit. It's cliche, but it's true. Trouble. Of course, of course. There we go, that's a bit more like it. Okay, uh, what did I want to sell again? I wanted to sell the Berserker Modified Magstorm. Alright, that's my melee weapon. Right. If you need anything else, you know where to find us. Okay, uh, so that's my melee weapon. I need to choose one. I don't know why I'm carrying all of these. This is my pistol sniper, but I'm trying out the keel hauler. Sniper. Uh, Boomstick. All right, 400 fire rate, 117 fire rate, 23 damage, 12 damage. Two different ammo types. I've got way more ammunition for this one than I do for the others, so let's go ahead and put this on the five slot. Uh, and then I can store the rest of these. This is the only rare double-A that I've got. I want to store that. I'm not sure why I brought that with me. I'm going to store that. Wait, no, I wanted to sell that. The Calibrated Breach. The Trade Authority has access to goods and services. Of course, of course. Go to sell, weapons, modified breach. Okay, so I can store the double-A. I can store the Magstorm. I don't need to be carrying both of these around. They're not that heavy. 
That one's heavy. <laughs> it's very heavy. So I'll store the regulator, even though it's really cool. Okay. The Trade Authority appreciates your visit. You know I went to chef school? All right, I tried to make that inventory management respite as painless as possible. Oh. Oh, wow, that's going to be a lot faster. I forgot that there was an elevator right there that led to the well from the spaceport. To the ship. And if I run into inventory management problems again, uh, I may have to switch to my... Is that your Kepler. ship that landed not too long ago? As amazing as this ship is, the Kepler has so much more carrying capacity. Let's store the double A. Let's store the magstorm. And let's store the regulator. Then let's put the keel hauler in place of the regulator. All right. I don't have uh, a deliverer, but I've got a pistol, melee. Uh, shotgun, sniper, automatic weapon, boomstick. And that's all I need. How am I doing on inventory space? Two, four, two, seven of two, six, six, zero. It's still really nearly full. I got rid of a lot while crafting, but not nearly enough. I've got a lot of adaptive frames. I don't need that many adaptive frames. I might have to just start going through all of my resources and selling the stuff that I don't need. Let's sort by weight. Why do I have all of these drilling rigs? Nuclear, nuclear fuel rods? I'm not even tracking these. Well, I just exhausted all of the, uh, all of the credits. <laughs> Five pounds? Why, why do I have these? Go build an outpost, you'll get rid of a ton. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. The next time I run out, I'll just start building an outpost. I'm going to start needing these when I build outposts, won't I? Sixty-five adaptive frames. Why do I have so many of those? Thirty reactive gauges. Pressure tanks. What? Gold? I don't even remember looting gold. Eighty-seven cobalt. One hundred and five aluminum. This is what's my my problem is. I just need to make an outpost. That's the thing. I need to make an outpost and dump all this stuff in my outpost so my ship isn't so full. Technicolor Tube says, check your notes. They weigh a lot. You have 60 notes. Do I? Yeah, I do. Zero, 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 zero. Okay, all of this is zero. That was half a, half a pound. Hope Family Tree, which I stole. <laughs> zero. 
Tequila City Charter, that's half a pound. And it's a quest item, and I can't get rid of it. Rhapsody on a windy night, it's almost a pound. Can't get rid of it either. Why do I have a food tray? Destroy the snow globe. And all this stupid toilet paper that I looted. Julian Z says, yes, is it finally outpost building time? Maybe, maybe soon. Not yet though, I'm not ready yet. Cordelia Chesterfield says, modifying ship, it drops, uh, it all drops. Hell of a view from here. Yeah, that's true. Every time I modify a ship, everything on that ship gets dumped into my ship inventory. And then it gets transferred from ship to ship. That's probably how I got all of those adaptive frames and all of that. All right. The quest is sending us to, am I, am I targeting the right quest? Hold on. Let's make sure. Breaking the bank. Then we've got doctor's orders. I need to find and speak with Gennady Ayton at the clinic to retrieve a medical supplies that Samina asked for. I should complete this one before I destroy the Crimson Fleet, which I'm eventually going to do. And I need to do burden of proof, which, no, I'm currently working on that. It just says search for evidence. It doesn't say how many pieces of evidence I need. So I guess I won't know when I've got all of it until I complete the quest, if that's possible. I need to do doctor's orders, but I don't want to do that this broadcast. I'm, I think I'm running out of time for this broadcast anyway. So let's get to the Siren of the Stars, and then we'll end the broadcast. Erica became a bronze ox. Thank you so much, Erica. All right, there's the Siren of the Stars. This is going to be a lot of fun. Can't wait to do this tomorrow. Ooh, must have been a good jump. We're still in one piece. There it is. Look at it. Hitomi says, by the way, Ox, a really easy piece of evidence to miss and don't remember if you got it was on Sidonia in the Broken Spear, a slate on the table next to the guy you talked to there. I got it. I did get that. It was the first piece of evidence that I got. All right, Siren of the Stars. Can we hail it? Nope. 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 No, 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 no. Let's talk. All right. Let's cycle that airlock and get aboard. Jamin Cohen says, I'm a little behind, but in case it hasn't been brought up, buy Digipix. Thank you. I did buy Digipix earlier, I think. Let's see. I've got... I've got 11. 11 Digipix. Hopefully that'll be enough for a while. All right, we're docked at the Siren of the Stars. Let's do a hard save here. And we'll pick up right here where we leave off tomorrow. I'll, uh, I'll do another broadcast, a Starfield broadcast in the morning tomorrow. Also, tomorrow is Scotch and Smoke Rings. Don't forget my evening show on Thursdays, 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. You don't want to miss it. We're going to have a lot of fun continuing with Dead Space 3. But that's it for today. After we complete the Crimson uh, Fleet quest line, I think I'll probably do a little bit of outpost building just to not just get through as many of these really heavy resources that we have. 
and uh, then probably move on to Reugen. That's that's the plan there. Again, thanks everybody for the fun. Had an absolute blast. I appreciate each and every one of you. Hope you have a wonderful Wednesday, and I'll see you again very soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.